my Gdume goes like this. Le I did a, a whole series of Shirem last year about the Tzis Mitzrayim that in the um, some of the Shtoyinim at least, probably not the Rambam, but some of the Shtoyinim uh, took the fact that Tzis Mitzrayim is mentioned a lot of times in the Torah, number one. Number two is you, that's just like a Kamas thing, mentioned a lot of times. Number two is used in in the Tanakh, uh, maybe less in Chazal, but in Tanakh it's used as, it seems to be used in as a reason for a lot of parts of the Torah, maybe maybe the Chlal for the Torah, like that the Kizri talked to be like the source of Jewish theology, uh, or it's used in a lot of, there's like a lot of lessons, in the, the Torah seems to take a lot of lessons out of it, it seems to be toil a lot of mitzvahs, like we have tzitzis, we have midas mishkolas, a bunch of random mitzvahs that seem to somehow say it's yes mitzrayim in them. Right, okay. Right, there's a bunch of mitzvahs that seem to have it's yes mitzrayim in them. Shabbos, right, all these things. And, and that's another thing. Third thing is that we it's uh, we see a, a more particular thing, which is that the mitzvahs that have to do with yes mitzrayim seem to have a certain uh, chimra that we don't find the other mitzvahs. Lemushal, that there's only, uh, there I only two or three mishalim for this, right? Lemushal, that there's only kudas and two mitzvahs, so which is Pesach and Mila. Uh, Lemushal. Yeah. Lemushal, that uh, Chomet seems to have, uh, according to some halacha, this is already a question that already in the Gemurah they were struggling with, but according to, there's Leirav, Lemutz, of Chomet, whatever that means, but that doesn't seem to have for other Sira, no? And Chometz obviously has something to do with Pesach, so I don't know if there's more more proofs for this. Maybe that there's like a there's a Pesach Shani. There isn't such a thing for other Kabbalas or other mitzvahs. So these are three ways in which to show from the Torah, from Tanakh, from the Bible, that Itzias Mitzrayim seems to be central, seems to be important, right? Now, later on, it could be has to do with particular. With yeah, everybody has to do with with le and I with technical things. I understand, mm -hmm. things no, like or, that. Or, or, or what, what together I understand. I understand. I understand what you're saying. For that, but if I'll be can, how if I was the lechem I mean, that's not gonna answer. I'm not saying all these things. I'm every all these things. I'm gonna honor these constructors now. But that's I'm just saying what they say, and therefore some of these uh, tzaddikim said that we have to understand in which way. Yes, Mitzrayim is like, and since they had this idea of Yisoy de Satayra, which is one of the biggest tradition that was ever invented by the Shainim, basically by the Rambam, a little, more or less by the Rambam. Uh, more or less by the Rambam, I don't think there's any good source for it before. There's some people, not Mishra Muslim, this was like a long uh, series of Bashirim about this a long time ago. But it's more or less, this is Mamish invented, this is Nish. Invented, and this was invented by the Rambam. There's such a thing called the Yisoyed Satayra. And to him it meant a certain thing. To other people it meant different ones. But more or less a lot of people accepted this idea. Which means that... Uh, uh, this is more or less the first reconstruction. <laughs> one of the biggest reconstructions that ever happened. Which is that the Satayra is not only like... A, more or less... Can, the, the way to say this, and the way the Akhreim described this... Rabbanel and others is that more or less constructing the Torah as something like a logical system, or you could say, if you want to, more or less like other religions, but they're both modeling themselves on certain like on sciences, like on Aristotle called sciences, where they have like a lot of prutim that are less important or less smachrach even, but they have like uh, yisodis, like axioms and uh, things that are more important than things that are mechay of the other things, and they try to figure out what those things are for, for Judaism, for Torah, for for mitzvahs and so on, and this, before? I don't know what it was before, but it wasn't this. Um, it's very hard to say what it was before because you have to get out of these categories, bechlal. You know, was it did did, did Chazal think of Judaism as a religion, bechlal? Did they have this concept of religion, bechlal? Did they think of it as like a system of true uh, beliefs of I don't know. What's the other options? There's a thousand other options. Well, the traditional option. Like. It's very uh, okay. I'm not. I'm not getting in. This is a, a certain thing that oh, happened. You're saying, did you, you mean like it has like you say this, like you say this, you mean like, like a not okay, in a lot of different ways. Chen Sharang and other ways, other ways. I'll try to. Let's see one some things over here. Um, I'm just saying this is 
in any case, this is something, Nachamun, you don't see this in the Mishnah, you don't see this in the Gemara, you don't see this anywhere before. The Mishnah, for, this this created a huge like restructuring of, of Torah, and like I'm saying, both in, in, in both in Aloha and in Agudah. And they came up, and in both they did something very similar that people don't seem to realize. And the Rambam, and for Agud, for Aloha, some people before him, uh, for Agudah more or less him himself, came up with this idea of, basically I call it the Yid Gomu Ikrem Tareg Mitzvah's paradigm, which is that there's there's 13 Ekrim, or whatever the number should be, and there's 630 Mitzvahs, or whatever the number should be. And this is what Judaism is. This is like the skeleton of Judaism. And the Rama literally writes books based on this skeleton, on this on this structure. This structure does not, none of, both of these parts of this structure does not exist anywhere before them. It's all, the Tariq Mitzvah is all based on some Medrash and Sechtes Makkah, and Yidlom Mekrim is based on nothing, literally. And... Mamish is based on nothing. Like, you'd find some Mamorich Mishnah and Masechts and Adam that maybe, if you squint the right way, could be meant to make some sort of list of Ikrim, which some Rishonim said, but it's not. It's Prashat. And same thing, in, in, although, and this Dramban already knows, although Chazal have, have mitzvahs and Essa and Loises and all these concepts, they don't have a formal structure. They don't ever think of the Torah as a list of Tariyak mitzvahs, which is what the Rama literally thinks of the Torah as. And this means a lot of things. It means, okay, it means so many different things. And, and all these things. It means, for example, that something that's not a mitzvah is not Torah. Right? The Raman literally reads, that Torah mitzvah, more or less. That's what it says in the Agnum of Mishnah Torah. And that's a pshat. Maybe he got it from some madrash. The Gemara in Brachas. That says that Torah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but... He got. He somehow got. He based. He, he made this Gemara to say what he. He he made the Gemara to say what he means. What he wants it to say. I don't know if the Gemara wanted to say that, and like I'm saying, it, it literally means that some things that are not mitzvahs and some things that are mitzvahs. And the kids said, "This is the Torah." You ask Ma Torah. This is that Torah, and that's what's the, their tradition. This is not how the people before that. Maybe just not that less formal. You could say a lot of things, but this is the fact that they made it up. Um, this is why I say that Halukha also was invented by the Rishonim, not only, <laughs> not only Ekrim. Now, um, okay, and since they have this, and yeah, since, in this way, so this in, this way in this way, in this way, in this way, we could, we could yeah. find like the exact Nafkaminas and so on, but in this way at least. Um, has a lot, to, has to do with so many things, with how you understand the Raya, Sandra, Banan, and Minag, and Takuna, all these things that already Hazals tried to work them out. <coughs> Anyways, um, the man of committed where I'm getting to. So, one of the things, in any case, one of the things that they were after is this idea of what is the ikir and how is the ikir relate to the rest of it, and things like that. And like I said, the Rambam more or less came up with this idea, and then people after him sort of noticed. Wait, you have a good idea, but the Rambam actually almost never used the tears of time. Uh, he never he, he mentioned it, but. And this is a sheet to, to get into it by itself, but he really doesn't see the Tzitz Mitzrayim as important. He maybe sees Mount Torah as important, but he definitely doesn't see Tzitz Mitzrayim as important. He doesn't use it as, like, in any real way, anywhere. And then other people sort of... Uh, if you mix this up, they put it on bands and... Yeah, so now other people, other people, what happens, something like this. Now other people, and of course, maybe I'm simplifying a story, but this is the story that I have in my mind. Other people accepted this idea, they, they not only accepted, they internalized this idea that there is Yisoyedes Atoyre, and then, but they were, they said, okay, look, you, once you gave me this idea, and I opened my Chemish, and it doesn't seem to say you're Yisoyedes. The, they said, they read into the Chemish that the Chemish does have Yisoyedes, and they said, wait, the Chemish keeps on saying, Asher Tzitzich, Meretz Tzitzrayim, and so on. Okay, so may, obviously the, the Tanakh itself, the text of the Chemish, is using that as, in the way that you use Yisoyedes, in a very similar way. This is the reason why I do mitzvahs, or this is the point of the mitzvahs, or this is the source of the mitzvahs, and all kinds of things like that. And they say, okay. And therefore, you Rambam, you're totally wrong, because like the Kizri basically said, and the Kizri is more or less a polemic against the Rambam. Well, not the Rambam, because he was before the Rambam, but uh, a philosophical uh, conceptualization of things. And he says, it doesn't say in the Torah, it says, and to him, this means a whole different thing. Shine, but and then the Ramban more or less agrees with the Kizri in, in this sense, and but understands Asher Tzitzich in a different way than the Kizri. But that's another whole. Again, this is another whole series of Shidam to figure out all these things, and it's and he has his own pshat and what Tzitzich Mitzrayim is, and 
I've, I had like six or seven different meanings of Yitzhiz Mitzrayim, like totally different ones. I had a list, and I think she finished some finding. Okay, so this is this is the Rishonim's, like the second step of, of the Rishonim, what, what they're doing. Yeah, this is something, yeah, I know. This is, this is not, he's not the first one to come up with this, though. I think that Advaz or the Rakhta bigger people yeah. long before him to come up with. I think that Advaz has yeah, something like that. Yeah, there's people. There's people. Ah, uh, very nice. But well, there's people before him that came up with that. Yeah, yeah. But it's a good. It's a good illustration of this. Of this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I understand. But it's a good illustration of this concept. I'm saying it's. But let, let's let's try to work this out. So now, look at that. That was my thing, and I think that's a very important thing to work out. But um, I want to go back now. So now, since everybody give that, she had already wants. What I was trying to do this year is to say, okay, this is very nice. It's very important. That's very coherent. There's a lot of systems and ways of thinking about it. But we could actually try to check all of these all of these sources that they quote and see if they actually say that. Right? And of course, it's uh, I keep on saying this is a very uh, not simple thing to do. It's a lot more less simple than a lot of Karuim kind of people think it is. Because why? I had a list of reasons in my class last week. Basically, because whenever you read, especially if you read something like Tanakh or like Chazal, you just make everyone is saying what they wanted to say, more or less, including me. And I don't think there's, I don't think that I have a way to get out of this problem, a, a real there is way. There's levels of, there's levels, but there, there might levels. be levels, but level. you're always going to be adding a structure onto the text. You could do a closer reading of the text and try to see what it says. But you're always going to be adding uh, uh, your own meaning of things in, in basic ways, just even in the sense of translation, because we don't need, we don't know what words meant and that or what connotations mostly words had in, in those times or whenever it was written and whenever it was read and, and read, not only written, right? And how Chazal read it and how people before uh, it's been read, read these texts have been read, read for a very long time and people have seen such wildly different things in them. But at some point, you have to be very naive to say, okay, but now we got the real psha. Okay, no psha. So, so maybe I'll just no psha. I usually, I see like someone gave a course on the history of Jewish thought, and he started with the Bible. And the Bible is basically Cheskel Kaufman. So like, that's not the Bible, that's Cheskel Kaufman. You wanna, there's no Bible. It's very nice pshat, but it more or less matches to his period, and we can understand what he's worried about. It. Yeah, of course, it's a nice pshat. And like you're saying, there's some... Um, theories that focus the, the, the text, like they say, okay, we're going to read just the Tanakh and figure something out, some things that don't, but I'm very skeptical of the thought that that's the pshat. But it's another pshat, I think that it, as a method, the, the minimum, the minimalistic thing that I can say is that as a method, it's a good method to find new pshat. In other words, to make my own pshat. Uh, or, there's something weird with this, because that Okay, let's not get into this meta discussion. This is uh, it's generally my, what I think. But can read me the masach. Okay, so let's let's get into the actual thing and see what we can do. So, I was thinking that we have to list. And it's sometimes says in the Torah a lot of times. That's true. Um, I just put Shemas here. You could see it. Or yeah, yeah, I, could see, yeah, yeah. I just put Shemas here. No. This is the Allah Torah. No, they just have a lot of nice things. Yeah, they just, I don't know. Who, yeah, yeah. But I think that they malak it from, I don't know from where. It doesn't say. It's a very nice thing, actually. It helps in this kind of, in this kind of discussions. But I'll put them. So we now let's 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 try to get it. Let's try it because it says a lot of times. So it, basically, Tzitzit says a lot of times. Even if we, I'm not even going to do do Nach for now, but even in the Torah, like the Zayr says that it says fifty times in the in the Torah Tzitzit Sram, and I count in there's at least one hundred and eight. At least even in the Zayr's criteria, like in the criteria that the Mefarshim seem to say. And of course, everyone has a whole pshat. Everyone's made a whole list to figure out. Everyone has their own pshat. Well, we should count this one and not that one, and all kind of things. Yeah. The, I have a list. The Gro and the Ramak and the, someone else, the Ramami Pana, they each have their own list. The Gro literally, he loves doing these kind of things. He literally has a list and he even has like a whole structure for the list and everything wait, and wait, 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 logic. In the Kunazar, I think. I, I have the sources somewhere. Yeah, here. if you say, say, take the all, 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 yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. All 50. I think I saw, but I didn't. Think, I didn't think Anchal Chaf was like a remarkable thing. I thought it was like no guy. He got to run through it. Who? Like, no, the guy. Anchal is like he's machloikus about it. He's saying it's not even so simple. Machloikus. No, the no, gru. The gru is not true. In other words, you could make a search and see that there's more. And 
figure out yeah, how, yeah, how, yeah. how it works. Um, I could show you. I, I once made an Excel sheet with all of that. Um, yeah, there's other, there's other. The Ramak has a list also, and and, uh, and the Ramami Pana has a list. That's the three lists that I know. But anyways, there's many more than that, than the, all those three lists together. And also, it's very hard. This, this, this kind of counting don't really... I don't even know if the Zoid himself made a list. Like, it says a lot of times, so 50, right? You know, like the, the Mephar Shep Shat say that 300 just means a lot, you know, it's all these, like, right. typological numbers. And of course, for the Zoid, 50 is the correct number, so it must be 50. And it's more than 50, so... We get it, like... Yeah, you could... He's, he's, he's talking yeah. about a sort of thing. He's talking in a certain context. Why is he saying why 50? To him, because it's Hamish Mshara Binna, and the Binna is the, what, yeah. what made it to Yes Mitzrayim. That's all he says. He doesn't go through The group draw, does try to go through all of them, and someone has like a shot of what it means. There's even two. By the way, the group has two versions himself. <laughs> so, anyways, which one, how the order works, and so on. So, I don't know. But what I'm just saying, using that is to show the how many times, and it's very hard because. If it says in the same story, you understand? How do you divide things up like that? It's not so. That's not a. There's no like correct way to count. You could count and get it. Whatever number you want, you could find if you want. But what we <laughs> could do is what I would what would be more interesting to do is to do something. Let's ask this question. Let's ask only one question and then try to figure out how many answers we could find in, to it from the from the Tanakh or from the Chemish. Okay. And the question is, what is what does it is Mitzrayim do? This is what, what my question is, matches to what the Rishayim seem to be doing. In other words, of course, there's the story of the Rosh from Mitzrayim and so on, right? But what is the what is the message? What's the message of the story? Ivechaim. What are we trying to learn out of this? What is the, what is the, what is it doing? In other words, what is it doing? What is the function of the Tzitzim Mitzrayim, right? For example, if you take this text, like the most major text, in one of the versions of the Guru, he says that's the 50th, right? The Pusik of Enoich Hashem Nekech Hashet Tzich Meret Mitzrayim. Like in one of the times, he's like, this is the Shara HaMishim, but it doesn't actually match up with the other time they count. So we'll Anyways, the Rabban Kotler likes this shot very much. He talks about like the, the Rabban Kotler, and, and yeah. what's it called? Um, but, Mr. Yeah, Rabban, yeah, he talks about, he quotes, he, he's one of the, if you're looking for sources for things, he's one of the, like, Bali Aguda that actually works with sources, very yeah, interestingly. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and a lot of Guru and stuff, so. It's very good siphon and then and for this kind of thing. Even as he like re- he learns, like he's not a, he's not some like uh, not like what the Chazanish accuses about the of being just making stuff up. He like reads, and tries to figure out. Good sir. Um, what do I want to say? So yeah, so for example, if you take that pusik right, and I'm gonna say what well, you already know Abshat in that pusik which is the like uh, which is not only my Abshat, it's there's some Rishon that's had Abshat already. Um, according to the Ramban and the and the Kizri. And, and this whole school of thought, they think that Ashut Sikhat Mitzrayim has a very important function that Pusik, saying like, which God am I? And to them, that means I am not the God of the philosophers, I'm the God of the Ashut Sikhat Mitzrayim, and so on. And the Ramban sees it as something like a proof, which is not what the Kizri understands. See, the Ramban is more, a lot more Ramban mystic than the Kizri, because he does think of in terms of proofs and things like that. And the Ramban says this is a proof of Chedesh Ha'elam, because the philosoph- philosophical God can do. Can do with Yitzhak Mitzrayim and Hashat yeah, Sichu is, is yeah, the Rai. He says it's synonymous with, with, with Barosa. Like, right. He's saying it is the same thing. He's saying it is the same thing. To the Ramban. Yeah, yeah. 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 To the Ramban. But to the Ramban, it's not the same thing. It's a proof of that. It's like, Chuch, I said that Hashat that, 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 Rasich, Ali, Abrasich, Abrasich and the Ramban sense, right? In the sense of, in the sense of Rutz, in the sense of Yashmain. Hashat Sichu is the Rai. That's how he reads it. He mamish reads the Pusik. And I said, Hashat Sichu. Something like that. It's a very Murachik Manap Shat Lefi, and he is that. And that's his way of understanding it, and that would that would be one function of Yitzhak Mitzrayim, right? This is the proof for whatever we want to prove. That a man proves his six ekrem and over there, whatever his list of three ekrem and rutz and yecholas v'chedesh. Now, I of course don't think that that's the function. I, I don't think that I don't think that that pusik is bichlal interesting in this context, because I, I more or less think that Asher Tzich Mitzrayim literally says one thing, which is God's caller ID, right? Or you could read it backwards, of saying I am the one that took care of Mitzrayim because you didn't know in Mitzrayim, so now I'm letting you know. Or you could say that it's uh, just the identification. That's more or less how I read it. And by the way, that's also how I would read a lot of the Psikim of Ayikro that Chazal uh, have um, Medrushma about, like Parshas Tzitzis or like Parshas Medes uh, Meshkailas and all of those Parshas. And if you look it up, you'll see that this is all the Chasima of a Parsha. So Pasha Tzitzis is at the end of a long list of mitzvahs in Pasha Shlach. 
not a long list, a few mitzvahs. And uh, I think she knows not. And yeah, it's like there's like if you read the Torah, this is something that Chazal did know. Modern people don't know it; they only know it is like read Bible verses. But Chazal knew about this. If you read the Torah, there's like a bunch of I don't know how you call it, like parshis of chukim, like sifrei, sifrei Torah, units of Torah. Like there's stories and there's halachas and in the midbar the very mixed, mixed up, mixed, mixed up, and vehicle is more or less only halachas and so on. But in Shemas there's both of them and so on. The Vodim Zosu, both of them. The most confused Chemesh is by Midbar. It just it literally goes like a story, Aloha, story, Aloha, story, Aloha. I don't know why. Um, anyways, and uh, if you read all of these parshas, and they tend to have a Psicha and a Chasimah. And especially the Veikru style parshas, or whatever you think of the exactly, but there's there's something called the Veikru style parsha. And the Vikr style Pasha is all finished with some with some kind of sign off like Ani Hashem. And there's they do it in detail and they do it in the when they come to the end. Like in the very Kadoshim every second mitzvah finishes Ani Hashem. Kadoshim is the big step from it, like one of the big lists of mitzvahs of Aikra. And and then in the end he always finishes off Ani Hashem and it gives you a longer a longer chasima. Ani Hashem like Ah Hashit Sikh Mitz with Sraim or so on. So therefore all these this these f- interesting mitzvahs, then this is the Apip Shat, I could show you actually, it was Meglais Mechnesh, this is, this is the time of Altip Shat, Apip Shat, all the mitzvahs that Chazal were, were struggling with, I'll show you even, let's, let's start from the Shefe Shemas, because Shefe Shemas is already the beginning of Yikras and Shemas, right? You know that, so this kind of starts, and so this kind of really starts in Shefe Shemas, right? I mean, so the, the, the mitzvahs of the Mishkan are basically the big Yikras and the Hemshech, and there's, there's some difference, but... I understand, but there's there's some. It's, it's very similar style. It's very you know a lot of details of halachas and so on. But it, you could see in the end. I'm trying to remember where it is. It's in 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 Tetzave. Even this this parsha is one of the first parshas that has a seam about Mitzrayim. I could show you. I think one of the first ones. I maybe I should make a better you're, list. I mean, Kesisa, I have to go back. Yeah. So over here, I'll show you where. Yeah, this is the end. So the tzav, this is the end of mitzvahs ma'aseh mishkan, literally, right? Because then there's ketoyres and okay, there's a weird, there's interesting questions why the poet forgets things and goes back about ketoyres and and kesisa and all these things. But tachlis, this is the end. How do I know that is the end? Because it has a siyum, and the, you know it has the mitzvah of making the mishkan. How do you make it? And the big dekel and then the milim. That's the tzav, right? And then we get to the end, and the end said and the end is mitzvahs oilas oila, right? The tumid, and it finishes like this. And this is mamish. It's mamish like it circles back to the beginning, right? Remember, and it says, 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 I will be their yeah, their God. Why? Because it's Yeah. Like, so yeah. Is happening now? Yeah, of course. It so literally says it says also that this is this is actually also a very one of the Pshutim of the Tzias Mitzrayim that we have to get to maybe. In order to right, that's what it means. I took it out of Mitzrayim. No, it's, it says the opposite over here. It says the opposite over here. It says, yeah. I took you out of Mitzrayim. Why is it like that? It doesn't say that I'm God, God from Mitzrayim. No. It says, I will... Even Mitzrayim, even Mitzrayim, I took it out of Mitzrayim. Why did I take it out of Mitzrayim? So that afterwards I should be. I don't know what's going on here. Over here. The parishes of the Mishkan all hold that. And Vinant Le Choshama says this, and this is like a continuation of that. They all hold that God being your God, whatever that means. I mean, Kasisto is all about this. I don't know what all the dialogue is all about but it's all about that God literally has to live within you that's the whole whole premise of all the parts of the Mishkan and there's a lot of aluchas you have to be careful you have to do yeah, all of the, all of this and that's God living within you means having a Mishkan and that's what to him that's what it means uh, to live there and 
do whatever a god does. I mean, what, what is God? What's the job of a god? That's the question that we ask in the in the other class. What is the god jo- God's job? He has a bunch of things to do. It makes it rain. It gives you direction. Whatever. Yeah, but that's, uh, yeah, all, all the things that a god does, he does it by living, by being in the oil mud, by being in the antisham of Israel. Okay, but but it. I'm just telling you that this is a very nice. I think this is the first example that I have. This might be earlier examples of a long parsha of a bunch of halachas. Then there's a signature and it says Ani Hashem, and I'm the one from Eretz Mitzrayim. And a lot of times they add Asher Sikh Eretz Mitzrayim. And actually, there's another signature here. I think not sure. Chibran Al is sort of a signature. And then, um, no, I don't know. Okay. The Ani Hashem Mikadish Chaim. This this parsha again. Okay, Bekitze. That's the next parsha. Yeah. Yeah. So this is like um, I don't know how this it keeps on going back. No, this 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 pusik is whoever made the program here was a big amur. It's this pusik should be in the next parsha. It finishes here, right? It finishes with Shabbos. That's like the second CM of this parsha. Okay. Agapunim. No, this is Mamish mistake. But it's not a It's a new story. It's the beginning of the story of the Eagle. I don't know why the the guy that made the program was such an amur. It's a classic Shabbos. Sometimes he makes like obvious mistakes like that. Kids said, okay, that's, let's get back to where I, oh, that was just me saying, so, it's time, but it's not, it's, it's, it's here, but yeah, I don't, whatever, it's the, it's the beginning of that, it's like going back to somewhere, it's going back to somewhere, it's going back to the, to the Mishputim or whatever, but, um, what did I want to say? Ah, so this is my first thing. My first thing is that a lot of psikim that say, Asher Eslich HaMetz Yisraim, I don't see them Bechlal, and in Vayikro there's a lot of psikim like this, and we could try to find them. Uh, is, is, uh, um, right, if you uh, if you go to um, yeah, if you go to Kadoshim, for example, um, this is a, a chazura on the parsha that we saw before. But anyway, if you go to yeah. for example, well, this is an example. This is by the way, this is parsha parsha right? This is another example of a parsha that literally has this structure. It starts. Okay? And this is something also. This is how the Pasha starts. Okay? Hi, welcome. This is just the same thing as Anich Hashem Lekecho in the Zeres Adibris. This is how God starts Pashas. Hi, I am God. Now, finished. Um, and it finishes with the same thing, right? So it starts and finishes with Anich Hashem Lekecho. He also talks about Mitzrayim over here, but anyways, that has another another lesson from Mitzrayim that we have to figure out. And then there's the same thing. Dabra... Sometimes you just don't be like them, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be like them. Yeah. No, in the end, he sort of has this whole Chavanish thing with Lesuki Aschem. Okay. But I'm just showing you that's how the parshas work. And then Kedosh has the same thing. Kedosh Mtiiki, Kedosh Ani Hashem Lekech. So he has this very, he has a lot of different ways of doing the Ani Hashem Lekech. But this is basically having the same function in the parsha, this pusik. Whatever Kedosh Mti means, it starts off Ani Hashem Lekech. And then he does it a lot of times in the middle in this parsha. Ani Hashem Lekech, 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 and and then he has a longer one at the end. And Hashem like, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, and happens to be that last mitzvah was Moin the Tzedek, Vayv and the Tzedek. So therefore, I think that Al Pipshat, you don't need the whole Sefri's problem. Why Tzedek is it's Yes Mitzrayim? It's just the end. And says the Matam Sukkot, the end, the last mitzvah in Kedoshim was in this parsha. Why is the one parsha? The psikim were not made by whoever made them. They were not made by Moshe Rabbi. Don't tell anyone. They don't always make sense. I don't know. The fia Indian, maybe they were made. <laughs> I don't think that the psikim track any of any of the structure. Very no, no, no. often don't. The psif pusiks are not often. It says in the Gemara that's from my Shabbat. Chvash pisketam and machlokes. I don't know. Depends. Depends on who you ask and how you understand. It doesn't matter. I'm not getting into the history of it. The fact is that if you figure out the structure of psikim, the psif pusiks do not always work with them correctly. I don't know why, and I don't know. There was probably a logic to this also, but. I don't think that it's the... Yeah, if you want... It could be the... It depends on how you understand. We should make a self pusik But I don't think that... It's not always a good guide to, to understanding the structure of things. That's just my experience. Just like the Tamim are not always the correct guide. Or not always the only guide, at least. Whatever. It's another... But that's the fact. You see that it's finishing off. This is the side of the seam of this Parsha. Shine. That's... And the same thing is in the Parsha Shlach. That's what I was telling you. Shine then. Um, where am I? Oh, you want to go to? I just want to see if uh, this also. But you see, this also. Okay, Ani Hashem Mekat Shomli. Always, there's a lot of variations on the same theme, but a lot of parshas have this beginning and end with Ani Hashem, Ani Hashem, Ani Hashem Mekat Shomli. And then, by the way, this, again, there's the parshas Emer. Rashi in Azim Mekatshem Neisral. There's Chalishem Mekatshem Nekdash Tivis Lechem Neisral. Ani Hashem Mekadish Hamotzi Eschem Neisral Neistchem Dalim. 
This is the Pasha that we 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 do a funny thing on Yom Tov and start here with him <laughs> Tov and Red. Well, this is again. This is more people shot this to hear the uh, it also finishes like that. So you see, it's not like a Pasha. So you is God's calling card. That's uh, by the way. I have a I have a very interesting chat on the Parsh Tami Adam and the same if you once you follow the structure you see and that the sickest also works the same way and nobody this is this is another one of the caches that the Shoinim had what sickest got to it says Mitzrayim I mean it says in the Pusik itself mind the Dersaichem but if you follow the structure you see everything over here is Echad Tzias Mitzrayim but it's interesting how the Parsh and this is the, right you have the Parsh that starts again Me'adei Hashem and it finishes also with Tzias Mitzrayim. This is an interesting passage because the Sikh has already said once before and it went back and it says and it found a connection because Sikh is a Zeichel at Yisim Mitzrayim and it's a very hard connection to understand how it's supposed to work but Tachlis it's basically matches with this whole structure that Yisim Mitzrayim Did it say something Yisim No, but in the end What did it say in the beginning? I don't know Oh, you're saying it was an introduction I'm just saying that That's an introduction you're saying yeah, there is an. There's a. This is a parsha. It says, "Vayda b'shalom shalaim." This is double b'nei shalom shalaim. This is how the pusik starts, right? Yeah, right, so what, what do you answer? By the way, this is another thing. We, that's why I'm showing you the soif pusik, right? Really, if you want to understand this this parsha, you have to start over here, right? This is all uh, just preference, just words that the uh, pusik and parsha always start with. But the parsha starts like this. I'm just showing you that the parsha always also ends up with a sign off, which is an yisham lekarech mashat says yes kmeitz mitzrayim. And happens to be that it also matches with the with the idea of sickness being a zeichel etzias mitzrayim. I think one of the reasons why it, it, this like interesting nobody in, in the sesik is three. You're saying this whole thing is going on an entire, on an entire of course. thing. Of course, no. Before, before it's it's also thing. going in the prat. Maybe that's a riot to the other chazal that they said that mishkodes have something particular with etzias mitzrayim. I see that he's trying to finish off with etzias mitzrayim always. That, that, you know, the beginning of the day, that was before, before, before Sukkot. That was what, that was already. Shereh Kesavaya is finished already. That's an end. This is an end. And the next thing was? And this oh, is the beginning. Then there's another end. I'm just showing you. It's yeah, interesting well, to notice. Want, you don't want the beginning. Oh, want yeah, the it's interesting to notice the that the, no, the end of this part also ends with Asher Sai 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 Okay? And Shalin Mekitze. Um, over here, I don't know. And by the way, Again, Yoifel finishes the same way. And if it adds, you see that it keeps on adding. Okay, this is very interesting. We should really make a list. And it, it adds particulars, because over here it says, Over there it said, But it always finishes the same way. And it just adds a prat, where it's up to it, says how this exact, sometimes it has a more detailed way of connecting to Yisim Mitzrayim. Yeah, this is another. But this is a very important thing. But you also, if you think in a more general sense, it just... It's it's also at least it's at least also that okay. And then by the way, this is the scene of Teiras Khan and Bichlal, and it, it's very interesting because this is the Teiras Khan. Like, like, it's very interesting, interesting when I'm doing this. Oh. You see the Teiras, you see it yeah, finishing also. the same way. This this also very weird. Yeah. And then Alif Kitzah again. This is the editor or whatever. This is the this is already not. This is the end of the patch, right? This is already referring to the previous patch, right? And basically referring to the whole Teiras Khan, I guess, but. I'm just showing you that it literally in Vayikru, every part should start with Ani Hashem and ends on Ani Hashem, which is the same as time. And, shine, and by the way, it does it again. Another Aliyah Mitzvah, this is again, he keeps on doing this. He keeps on doing like this, No, the, this is the end of Mechikoy, so yeah. after, remember, after the Torah, he has the Mitzvah of, uh, of uh, Eirechim and, and stuff. Yeah, so again, yeah, this is something that he keeps on doing. He keeps on finishing and then reminding himself he has something more to say. This is something that that Saif of the Torah Bechlas Saif Vikr also keeps on doing. This is another pattern. You think that it's Yotzim and Aklal, but it's actually the Klal. Like we saw it in Kasis, so we see it here. It keeps on doing this. It keeps on like you think you're finished, and then it, it's like the dash, and that's like Mazel Tov, and he has another ten minutes to do it. Okay, well, what, what I have a shot of he saw the belt, but yeah, remember? Yeah, because the Mishkan finished. I showed you the Mishkan finished the Shachni Besalacham, and then it has the mitzvah of, of the Mizbech Aktoiras and the mitzvah of uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the kids are. That's, okay, because there's two chesumas. Remember that he'll said that there's two chesumas. Okay. Now, showing the kids, and now if you go to the somehow we got into the stories. And then, right, this is, this is all the hemshek, right? Because this is from the beginning, from like Tremo until, until, until Balois, is one long, long story. Now, uh, from Tremo, Parshas Tremo through Parshas Balois, there's one story. Yeah. Like like Sefer Vikra really expands on its both sides. It's not really there's differences and so on, but it's not really. Yeah, yeah. But Bekitzer, 
Yeah, but it also goes back because it starts. Uh, the Vayikras literally, the, 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 the end of Shemois and beginning of Vayikras, Mamash Tzurichin, why it's an, uh, another Sefer. Like, I mean, I understand why, but it's like Mamash one Hamshir. You have to read it together. It's not. Uh, um, okay, but Ketzer. We're still in Baloyz, I just wanted to... It's a chronological chart, you see, like, you see that it's, it's, it's one thing. Yeah, it's like it happens the same week, man, the whole, the whole <laughs> yeah, thing. Yeah. Anyways, so, and this is the story with the, the thing, and then, this is another, here we get to the next parsha of Aloha, right? And it finishes on the nation of the Kech, and it happens to be that the last mitzvah of the parsha of Tzitz is... And of course, there's a continue a connection, a mantiskri, whatever, however it means, or whatever this chat is, but I'm just showing you that it's the same... It's the same structure in Parshas in Parshas Shlach. Is it the Parshas and the Stumas also or Lav Dafka? You have to check. Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, yeah. This this one has more because they already finished here. But it's it's obviously like a continuation. Here, there's another Vayemar Shalom Hashalim. That's what makes it interesting. But it's still you could see that it's that it's uh, at least it's putting together a bunch of halachas in one in one Hemshech. This is actually a few Parshas. This better, right? But it is, because then the next parsha is, is Koirach, right? This is the end of this, this group of halachas. So, but Ketzer, I don't, I don't think there's more of this. I'm trying to think if there's more of this. Um, how does it say the Chikas? Uh, it doesn't say anything like that. Right, okay. Maket said, trying to think if there's more things that do this. I don't remember more things that do this. It's Balak, Ben I don't think. Okay, but Dvorim is another hall, another hall, another hall. Okay, Dvorim is another hall. But Maket said, okay, Atkan, I showed you like six or seven, I don't know how many different times where you see that Asher Tzich, and that's why I think that Nech Hashem Lekech of the of the series, this is also just doing a function like that. We, of course, like I showed you, we, we, there is a meaning sometimes, so it doesn't mean that there's not a meaning, but at least the first meaning of Asher Sichon is just literally uh, like as a name and address. Like God's, I call it God's calling card. That's what it says on his, what's it calling card? The business card, right? It's God's, uh, that's, how, that's what it's called. So I don't think that has any real function in that sense. Of course, Mekansan Pshat, Mekansan Pshat, okay. Now, so what is, the, but but there is, but there is, but there is. I just, this is so. This is the, just lots of in the the Ramban. But <laughs> but Lamasa, what does the Torah see about Yitzchak Mitzrayim? So I think that if, if you go back, where what time is it? If you go back to the beginning of the story, we could start seeing what the what the Torah is doing with Yitzchak Mitzrayim, and it is doing some 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 things that have more more meaning than that. So the first thing is like this. If you read Shef uh, Shemos from the beginning, which is where the story of Yitzhak Mitzrayim starts, right? Of course, Yitzhak Mitzrayim already says Saifa Barashis, right? Because, and this is where, where Shef Shemos also started. We have Brisbane of Sodom, we have Anachi Alcho Gam Olay, and we have Pukadif Kod. These are the three. The three Aftachis of Yitzhak Mitzrayim and Saifa Barashis. Of course, Yitzhak is the, as usual, Yitzhak is left out, because he didn't go to Mitzrayim. Hold Pasek. Uh, all the other of us have like some kind of aftoch of Yitzhak Mitzrayim. In other words, the other th- the three alternative of us, Avram, Yaakov, and Yosef. Okay. And <laughs> there's some Pesikim and Tehillim that have these three of us. Okay. Now, um, now you come to Mitzrayim. Okay, so there's the Ma'arvet in Mitzrayim. Yeah. And Shayan. And there's like one, very little about the problems of Mitzrayim, by the way. Like, this is the whole. Shmos Perek Aleph is everything you could find about what was wrong about being a Mitzrayim. Now, uh, and then we get the story of Moshe, which is basically right the story of the of the Goyal. And then this is what it says like this. So this is, I think this is message number one from Mitzrayim. It says like this. And now, I don't know what Minavoid of here exactly means, but I think that it means uh, there's a cloud, there's a cloud. One of the one of the middles of, of God is I think that's the one of the biggest cards for that. And Yitzhak, by the way, here it says Yitzhak doesn't only mean to scream. Yitzhak and Tanakh has has a meaning of like uh, 
lodging a complaint in a court. Like yeah, uh, we see it, yeah. we see it in in Tanakh sometimes in Befarish, like Tzuaki uh, Alamel. I can't remember exactly the message. It says by it's by it was Tzak and and Vishach and Shanavim. Yeah, it says more times, more times. Saka has Zaka or Tzaka, it's the same thing. I don't think there's a real difference, at least not for this purpose. It has a meaning of, of like, uh, how do you call it in in English? Like in uh, like putting a indict, not an indictment, like a kuvlana, no. And in the in Amish it's called like lodging a com- official complaint at a court. That's what uh, lizik uh, means, and often, not always, but often. And one and and this 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 is, this has to do with like zakasta. I know the pick, but zakas zakas nevamayra. What does it mean? Zakas nevamayra. Vegish ring. Of course, the chazal zakas rivach. What it means is someone. I don't know the kateg or whoever. I don't. It doesn't say who, but there's like a complaint coming to me. So nevamayra is doing something wrong. That's a very big proof for this for this pshat. Um, it's not fear and God is very interested in, in being fear in other words it's not even about being fear because we could talk about maybe it is fear maybe they belong to Mithraim for some reason but it's about uh, if someone is hurting someone else then that's a good to be in Bezen Shalmala and, and for God like like Dalmuna, right like it doesn't really matter if, who's right who started the fight and and sure, and that that's a reason enough for Vayishmele Mesnar Kosom Rav means a din also. It doesn't mean fight. It means his. It means our our uh, our cause. Yeah, or our our uh, like it's a legal ter- legal term almost. Rav Rav is like a legal term like. Riv Lashem Em Amr doesn't mean have a fight. It means have a dentor with you. Yeah. Yeah. There's a tiny like they complaining over here. Right? And I was wondering for that, like you know. Shem Yorim Riv Hashem, right? It doesn't mean God's fight. It means God's tiny. Um, yeah. So we get to that's that's I think that's one of that's that's the not the first that's the first thing that actually happens. And I think that if you want like in Chazal's reading, maybe it wasn't yet the cats and this was Mo'ir that is and the Tatayna Mekolmok and if you hit people too much, that's what's gonna happen. I mean Moshe Rabbani actually embodies this value, right? Well, that's that was how Moshe Rabbani became the Mashiach. That I said this to you once already. Moshe Rabbani, he literally that was you know what Moshe Rabbani did that, to make him the Mashiach, right? He saw Mesh look Taid that is Gharang Mesh. You have to you have to be like God. You have to if he's someone suffering, you have to care. And he saw him and he saw the three times in a row. Same he did the same thing. That's the first thing we know about Moshe Rabbani. Three things. Well, he saw he killed the and then he involved got himself involved in a fight between two Eden, and then he saved the the Bnei So at least three times in a row. And now, okay. The kids, and then the second thing is actually interesting. Then it says, Okay? That's already a second thing. That's already a second thing. And if you notice, if you'll go to the next parish, which is the parish of the Sneh, right? And this is like cutscene, actually very beautifully uh, composed parish, right? This is, hap- this is this is happening in the Himmel. Because man, they remind himself, wait, these people have to have an agreement with this, like this. And, but, and then the scene cuts, and it goes to Moshe, Moshe, right? And what is and then God comes and He tells him, right? And what's the Ibishta? Him Rashem. Of course, we went through this parsha once with all the teen and two Moshe and Hashem. Lord is yes only Am Hashem, but Sram was a custom shamati for the next of Kiedati as Machoeva, right? Kiedati as Machoeva, Kimosha Kusif, Vayadali him, right? You could be, you could be a farsh, call it a killer, or Piatra of Atzma. Very good way of being a farsh, right? You see, it's like, like talking with each other. And so basically, they have complaint, and I saw that their Mitzrayim is bothering them, and Mitzrayim is bothering them. That's if it is touched. And then we get into this whole machloikis, why, and for what's your, for what's nish. But Tachlis, if you'll notice, the, the thing missing here, and it's missing in the whole, whole part of Shemas, is the second Pusik. He mentions the others when, when Moshe asks him, Who are you? He says, Anoichel Hayav Ruam, and so on. But he yeah. doesn't say that you should go take them out of Mitzrayim because of Zechati Esbrisi. The first time that says is in Parshat Vahiru. Vahiru Esbrisi. 
and the whole time until Moshe came to Pari the first time. The first time Moshe came to Pari, it was Bashem Hatzedek Ba'atzma. You knew you're doing something wrong, and God cares about that. And he came to Moshe and he told him that. It's true that there was the Vaskar's Brisa. We have to figure out that's another that's another whole pshat. I don't know what that is. I mean I know what it is, but it's another whole thing that's going back, that's finishing the story of Sefer Beresh, the book of Yifka and all of that. But, it's only mentioned in the Bible. It's like it's not much for the snack. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah? And you could read it in. Till Avram, but it doesn't say. Pukat Pukat Yaschem is osi lechem What does it mean? No, it doesn't. Mean it. You're being baavled, right? Para is the Omer Eleschem. Why are you going back? Because that's where you belong. It doesn't say. Where does it say the Eschem is And and Vairo. Then you go you go through the whole Sefer Shemos. You could. You could see it fast. You go through the whole Stevish with the whole Machloi, because Megat Sahar, and it's a Pare, and it's a Moshe, and Vyam, and it's a Glad Mia. Even Moshe, what does he say? The Asphil's Gilzikness, so that was Kavishmi, Vishmi Kifukadesh, and Mesmena Isra. Vikiro is on Yom. Right? The Isi is on Yom. Vikti Vajtahvi, and they're happy. And they go to Pare, and what do they tell Pare? A whole story with a high Ivrim, whatever it is. Yeah. Right. But they go to party, and this is all about this. It's fear. it's not fear. You can't you can't bother the people. And Melech Mitzrayim has Torahs, Chavayz Shidish and Shitzafrid. Mekitze, and then Moshe VeYushef Moshe Al Hashem, and he comes back and he says this is not working. And I think VeYushef Moshe means he went back until Har Sinai. Chavayz VeYushef 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 got three young. Anyways, and then. <laughs> What? It, it must be he went back to Chodesh because that's where you meet God. But Yeshev Moshe, he's having Shakur Tayyus the whole time. No, he stopped. Uh, Shakur Tayyus finished, and then that's what I'm saying. That's why this is the first time it says Vayushev because the whole Shakur Tayyus before was still he was still standing over there in Midian and Chodesh. Oh, right, right, right. Then he went to Mitzrayim and didn't talk to Hashem. Then he came back. He, he traveled all the way back. I don't know how far it is. I don't know how far it is. Three right, days, right, right, right. and and he told them this is not working. And then. We have Vayedaber Hashem, Vayedaber Hashem, Moish, Vayedaber Hashem, Moish, Vayedaber Hashem. By the way, another, another, another Rani Hashem call sign, and it gives them this. And this is like the Hemshich of Veskeres Brisi. Vayera Lavram. Where does it say Veskeres Brisi? It says, yeah, it says like this. Vayera Lavram, Veshmi Hashem, then whatever this means. Vegama ki Moish es Brisi, Vegama ni Shemati es Nakas, Vayeskor es Brisi. Lachena Moish le Mani Hashem, Vlakachti es Chem Vidatam ki Ani Hashem. And by the way, and what was Lashon over there? Was oh, this this is this is like a very crystal pussy So you see, it finishes vis. And it, and again, by the way, and it also has twice, and and even and even does this thing with having two two chesimes, right? Vidat mekani Hashem, v'vayes yeshem, ani Hashem. It's mamish that Israel was right. There's two like chesimes. Okay, it, it mamish does this 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 is this is God's first drush. This is God's drush, right? Ani Hashem again. Ignore the safe pussy because this is how the this is how the drusha looks, okay. But anyways, this is going. This is this is already continuing. I don't. This is already the second thing I think. And by the way, then the the Eden didn't, this Eden didn't buy this story. The previous story they didn't, they didn't, they bought the one that God cares because they screamed that they the they mass and the Zaydis and the Kovde mass. They show me on Moshe. Christ travels when I says because it's a Yehovah the Kusha. Because then my leg go to look the Parai and so on. This is very interesting. So we already have here. I don't know what pshat. This this is already me not having a theory. I have some sort of theory of of the structure. Where? That's the pasuk in Shemois. This pasuk, this drush of beginning of the the, the I call it the the, the beginning of Ayra drush literally matches very well with that. Right. This is God speaking. This is first person. This drush which starts and ends on Yashem also. Right. Notice. This is the sort of the answer of that shtickle, of the at least of the part of Ayiskra de Mesberisa. So there's already two things. In other words, if you ask me what does the and again this is me like saying not, I don't have a theory for why this you could ask Holtzman or someone, she has like these structures theories to, to match onto the structures. But I just know that there's a structure and there's already two important things in the beginning of Shema's like this is the first, this is already before the Marcus, right? The first step in the Tzimut Zayim. There's two different things. There's one which I could see, I see as like finishing the loop of Sefer Barashis, right? God has a bris with us, and then this is bris ben Absurdum, right? And I got stuck. Okay, I will fulfill my promise. So Kamash Malon, Ani Hashem. This is Rashi's pshat, and Ani Hashem, right? God fulfills his promises, and it's not only Rashi's pshat. It's true. One one of the very important attributes of God, which I keep on saying it's Poikadavanos Labunim. I know that we don't like Poikadavanos Labunim. 
Oh, it's okay. So the love from the habit, that part we do like, right? So some we, we keep on <laughs> playing this game. Uh, <laughs> you want the good without the bad. Okay, ready? The person can make the good more than the bad, right? But I'll put in, this is, in the Bible, this is one of God's most important attributes. Maybe this is even literally why it's called Shema Vayach, that he doesn't forget, right? He doesn't forget and he remembers through generations, right? You got to deal with your grandfather, with Avram Avini. I will take you out of Mitzrayim because of that. Laman, this is called Bris. This is what. Zichiris Abris, this is Bris of us. All of that. Zichir Abris, we literally make a bracha on this. Rishon Abrachat Hashem, Zichir Abris. And that is the first message. Like the first, if you ask what is the function of Etiyah Mitzrayim, I think the first one is the function is that God keeps his promises. Yeah, and remembers. Why do you keep up faith? Because you keep up, I don't know why. I, don't have okay, some, okay. I have a feeling in my mind that that's. That's yeah. what it has to do with that Shem, because, because, because okay, has to do with Hoya, no, that's Rasha, I think because it has to do with Hoya Hoya but that's also a Drash, because in other words, like I transcend time, I remember things throughout history, mm-hmm. and it says, uh, it, there's a Pusik in, in Shemos that, yeah. that makes me think that, right, because it says, mm-hmm. I, I am the God that remembers through generations, get the mm-hmm. and ignoring Chazal, that says, Zichri means Adner, right? Okay, that's number one. And number two, which is actually number one in Shema, is, is the, the Shema Tegi And you actually see, you see Sefer Dvurim using that, that meaning a lot, right? Uh, you should have Rechmon HaSana, give Zechat, take care of the Yisra of Mitzrayim. This is basically not only, there's two meanings, I'm saying, I'm saying a Chiddush, there's two meanings in that, right? We usually think that it means, okay, you know, even the Mitzvah of Shabbos, it says like that in Beis Chana, right? You were only an Eved, so I have empathy with an Eved. But I think there's a deeper meaning, as a theological meaning, which says that God has Rechmon HaSana, that's why you got out of Mitzrayim, because God doesn't like when you panic your avudim, so make sure not to do the same mistake that Pari did. So this looks like a mida, mida of mida sarachunas. This is sort of like mida sachesa and mida sadin. Now that I'm thinking about it, like mida sadin is the chiras sabris is part of mida sadin in some sense, and then there's mida sarachman, which is which is v'shemati gichanenoni, which is v'eskres, which is not v'eskres bris, which is v'yadli mes nakas bnei israel ba'ela, right? So those are two things, and these are. Yeah, you have to think. Uh, this is very interesting, by the way, the first bracha of because it's also God's calling card. It's us, it's us calling God with that calling card, and it's very interesting how we decided to put in the this mevigoyal, like who is our God? Right? The first bracha that's the only thing you have to have in the shemineser, like who is our God? Okay, it's from Avram, from Yitzchak, from Yaakov. Good legevan Okay, that's what Moshe Shabbani said. That's like his. Whatever, Chesed Vyat Feres, however you understand it. El Elyon, that was Shem Malki Tzedek's name, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know what it means in Afib Shat. And and then what does he do? Goy Machsed and Toivim. Goy Machsed and Toivim. Koine Hakkar is. It's part of El Elyon, Koine Hakkar. Goy Machsed and Toivim is like. Is like uh, is like in in this structure, it's like there's always a chesed la lofim the have of right, and the zoyich has the others may go right. So then it's like, and he is the one that remembers the del have and vitzchuk v'yaket and may go lef nevnaim to to us. I don't know what Laman Shemoy, yeah, Laman Shemoy, but what does Laman Shemoy mean? I don't, I don't know what it means exactly. Yeah, like Shmuel Avai, Laman Shemoy, she Shmuel Avai, she like Sharash says. So he keeps it after. Yeah, he's got it. He keeps it after. He keeps it. He keeps it. 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 Keeps but that gets us to a third. In other words, if you want to, if you were to ask, and this is interesting, this goes. I'm just uh, putting together things. If you would ask, like, okay, so what's the lemain of kmina from that? So you would say it's not itzias mitzrayim. It's not the history. It's the, it's maybe more about the future. Like if you would ask, let's say I've, now I'm thinking like this. If we ask the kizri, the kizri believes that we worship the god of itzias mitzrayim, not the god of creation, whatever that means. But that's literally his words. And then you ask him, okay, so you have shman esra. You want to tell me where it says itzias mitzrayim? Of course, we we said shman esra before shman esra. Right, this is Megillah at Phila. Well, we don't do it in Shmanesta, but we do, because we say, but that's really the God of Yitzias, uh, whatever, Gullis America, whatever, wherever we are. Right? And this is actually, by the way, if, if you, if you, Melech Ezra Mashiach, I'm not going to worry about the Nakas Mesra, I don't know. But because if you look in the, in the Nafsadi Gun, says that what do we learn from Yitzias, he has his long lists, I think. 
But one of his biggest lists is that we learned that God takes us out of Gulis. Which means now. And that's the Gulis of Pesach also thinks like this sometimes. Visham, the love of Okay. Um, so that's, I think that's the first two things. Oh, I have to get to the third thing. Give me a minute. Maybe you have to go somewhere. No, so now, now that we're still in Sefer Shema, still in Pasha Shema, Zvaira, this is basically, basic, but basically just to follow up our story, basically what happens now is that Moshe, the nice Rula Yishmi alive, they didn't, they didn't buy this story, and I just like, okay, to go talk to Parai. And basically from now until Pasha's boy, he doesn't talk to Deed, right? This is a word from Iri Holtzman that I heard, but it's true. The next, he stops talking to you. Then I get, okay, this should then I will try to talk to the Pare. Of course, there's a kasher from the Kavachayim, but anyways, Tachli, they start talking to the Pare. Right? And then, my guy said Pare, if any actress left Pare, Vyadi Mitzrayim, by the way. Doesn't say Vyadi, we got to have Vyadi Mitzrayim. We forgot about the Eden, the Eden are lost case for now. We're going to try to make Mitzrayim, Mitzrayim now. Maybe, maybe after that, we'll get back to the Eden. And they go back, and he starts having basically the same achloikism that he had with Eden. He's starting to have with Pare. The original Mofsim were not for Pari, they were for the Eden, right? Remember. And then the kids say he makes all the Makas. Yeah? All the Makas he makes. Long story. I mean, whatever. Interesting story, but not yet. And. What's the significance that he's not talking to the Eden over here? Because the Eden stopped listening to him. They have a nice relationship. I don't know what the significance It's It's a strategy. Just showing you. I'm showing you that he's Mekayim. Nice to Lisham Elav. Vidab Lech Pare. So for for all the Makas, actually until the end, until Makas Bucharis, Vidab Ramosh Elav, Abnei Stral, and then the Zvi Kedam Vayishnach. They finally, they finally got the first message that he was trying to send them, that they already accepted in the Shemos, but then they changed their mind after it didn't work, right? However, you understand this whole back and forth. But I'm just saying that he's taking stop to talking now. But kids, it. But what I want to show something very interesting that I don't have a. Again, I don't have a very cute, good pshat, and whatever pshat structure I could put in is going to be speculative. But it's true. The fact is true. There's an end. So this, this basically, this paddock, uh, however you want to call it, paddock Zion Ches Tess. No, what I, my God. three, I have now three pshatim already that I told you from the chimish. One is God's calling card. The second is God. Cares about. God's calling card is nothing, really. I don't know if it's nothing. You could put whatever you want on it. It's empty. So you, you it's empty. It's not himself. nothing. Calls yeah. Himself. Calls himself. Calls himself. Yeah, it's like a shem, something like a shem, or something like uh, however you understand it. Yeah. No, you could put in again. Even in that, you could put in a lot of things. Maybe that's if you think of theology, yeah, you could you, put in a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, why that's, is that his calling card? Like, 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 right, it doesn't answer like, anything. I'm just showing you this truck exactly. It doesn't doesn't it doesn't frag up anything. That's what I'm saying. Prove anything. It doesn't. Right, I don't know. I don't, I, okay, we get to yeah. I, I don't. It doesn't freak, the same thing. The other two things they don't freak up anything else. They don't. They're, not, they're, they're, they're sort of contentless. I'm just showing you the structure. Huh? That's so why the other thing is that you could put where. Is is word. Yeah, nobody disagrees with that. But I'm just saying that. Yeah, again, these are not things that anyone disagrees with. It's not controversial. It's just you could put into this a lot of theory, a lot of other content. It's another shana, another shana. Like it's not mudgash that Indian so much. I hear, I hear. That's in the beginning. Of, okay. But it says, it says in the beginning it says, "I need What's going on? Whatever. I don't remember. I heard. It says in the beginning, "I need to and then it says something else. Depends. Okay, I hear. Okay, it depends. Okay, it has to do with other. We have to get. We have to explain again. I'm. I'm just showing structures. I don't really have <laughs> shot over here. I. I talk it don't have. I mean, it's interesting to show all these things. I think. Bekitzer, what I was saying is like the. Um, let's let's get to the next thing because that's the third thing that I know about today. Bekitzer, Bekitzer. So that's the story. So that's the story. And then there's again. Parik Zayin Ches Tes is the all of them a bunch of markers and it actually has like a stickle seam over here. As he said, basically in the beginning, right. So basically, we did already. We did, um, we did seven makas and take That's okay. This is the end of. Uh, this is the end of fire, right? Yeah, it's it's interesting, but actually, although parshiyos usually don't don't follow any structure, there's the interesting structure that I want to show you in parshiyos boy which does follow a very interesting structure. And usually I don't believe that parshas have any real meaning generally, but but they do. Over here it does. At least there's an interesting thing. And then in parshas, it says something very interesting. 
it starts with a new to- there's a new theory of of the whole Marcus. It made a new thing that doesn't say before. And basically the whole Pasha's boy turns it the right day theory. It says Boil Pari, why? Okay, that we already know. Manchit society we already know. That's the old theory. That's the theory from the beginning of Shemaz Wire, right? And then it has a new theory. Okay, and then look at that. They have a whole new stories. There's discussion about the kindred, the kind the guy not, the kind the guy nish, which obviously connects with this. That was mentioned before? What this question if the if the sure. benign even sign an ach? No, it's it's a, it wasn't it, it came up and by, and by the by this mak by the makas after makas put on by the makas arve and and then mechoyz and the guys gave him zvuch and vo'elus. It's ready. It's basically ready. Getting closer to the to the tzias b'tzraim, but it's very interesting that he invented a new a new a new reason. Was the Shlech, the reason for the years, mitzrayim, I should show you that I'm strong with the mitzrayim or whatever the reason, whatever the meaning of the chazak that's left by is. Why did I have to come up with any reason? This is really the first time that we have mitzvah sepeh tzies mitzrayim, that I said that it's not a mitzvah, but the idea of sepeh tzies mitzrayim is here. This is the first time it says in the Torah. Until now, we had good reasons for everything. We didn't need to come to this reason. We didn't come to the reason. The man, the way I read it, sort of, in the structure is something like this. Seven makas, there's like, everything has a, has a sheet. Seven makas was enough to show uh, whatever. The by the way, it's, it's also always a number of Rebbe in the term. That's a lot. We're ready yoitza. Why do we have another in the last three makas? That it says that this has another reason, which is lemantasap. In other words, keili. If you'll tell your children the whole story of the seven makas, they won't be impressed. Now that there's another three makas, then stands for the kinderoch. It's like extra, you know. Why is this one? It's like this is like literally the man shishali atavikas, you know. If you do normal, the mal is normal. Oh, I'm gonna add more. You know why? There's no real reason for it. It's only you should have what to tell your children. That's what it says here. Give it a touch. And why why is that important, Bakhlal? It doesn't say if you don't but that that doesn't really give us a lot of information. It says before. Yeah, that right, right. This the first Laman is the old theory. The, the first Laman is not a Khidish, we already know that. But that's the voice of Sabah Mitzrayim, whatever whatever it is. The Ilaman is a Khidish. This Pusik, this Ilaman is a, is the new thing. It was it was Ms. Khadish and Parsha's boy. And it's like interesting that he starts talking about the children after, right? Do the children have to go? Do the children have to go to the Chag Hashem? That's, that's oh, another interesting connection. Mekitz and then the Schoishech and then and everything. And and then there's again Moshe Baran and Zichal Hashem again. But there's no Tzibu. They ask the Kasha, the Master, there's no Tzibu over here. Of the man tesape? Oh. No, of course not. So that's what I that's what I want to get. I want to think tell you what I think means sebeti es mitzrayim in this in this story. <laughs> Who brings this pasuk? No, if people ask. Oh, like, why? It's not a, not a, not a yeah. no. There is a pasuk there. It's a bit okay. Now, but kids, uh, then this thing finishes. Okay, then the, the okay. Let's let's try to understand then what's going on now. Shemasi uh, edbay is. is 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 a mitzvah, right? We skip, we stop this story. This is interesting, right? We stop this story, basically from here until the end of almost, almost, just some little bit yoytzim and aklal, but more or less, actually not more or less, entirely. It's very weird. It's very weird that there's no, you know, that the make the big climax of going out of Mitzrayim more or less doesn't exist in the chemish. Yeah, it's like three, so, three, five, so from three. yeah, it's not even that. It's a in the middle of the mitzvah. It's like a pussy that these kind of psikim that like that like are here, like that it, it, it glues different things together. That's the, like it, it doesn't like say anything. Like Kimi Tzim Toich Ami, Vit Neschan Am, and those Tzuk Gedolu, and I'm sorry, and you guys be like Mitzrayim, and then Vayibech Tzia Lail, Vatit Tzuk Gedolu, Kimi Tzi, Vatechzik Mitzrayim, Vnei Yisrael Osi, Vashem Neschan Am, Vayisib Vnei Yisrael. It's sort of it doesn't. It, what's going on? More something. What look? What's going on? Is something like this. Suddenly, and for a certain reason, I don't know what exactly the reason is. But Tachlis is that this Perikid Bais and Gimel are basically. Well, of course, this person that made this Perik was again Amoritz because he should have stopped before Vayi B'Shalach. This was a mistake. The Parsha is more right than the Perik over here, of course. Vayi B'Shalach is. We're going back to the story. This is really where the the story goes back. Where it picks up back the narrative. Until then. 
from from the beginning, Chodesh Zalachem until the end of 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 uh, is it's just mitzvahs. In the middle, there's some some of the story, but it's totally subsumed into the pasha of the mitzvah. So what's going on? Is, and there's just a lot of mekens and toyers back then. But what's going on is that basically we stop, we stop, we pause, we pause the story. And I really think that in in a very significant understanding of the narrative, the Yitzis Mitzrayim really happens by Kriyas Yamsef. There was no real Yitzis Mitzrayim. I know that the uh, kids, people don't don't like when I say this, but it's obvious to me from the Pshat and also from not only from the Pshat that we never went out of Mitzrayim. We only went out of Mitzrayim by, by Kriyas Yamsef. The first was was more or less like like in Shemot, but Arbet Yal Arbet Tish was not important. Um, well, Kapuna, the, what happened then we stop we stop the narrative and we and we get make parches of mitzvahs the parches of mitzvahs have a way of working they always start with like Vedab Hashem Shalaima, which this was the Gosa starts with but it adds Vedab Mitzrayim Lama right so this is an interesting mitzvah all the other mitzvahs were Bahar Sinai or wherever mid, this is the first, the only mitzvah basically group of mitzvahs not there's like 5, 6, 10 I don't know depending on how you count there's a bunch of mitzvahs right Chazal sometimes said there's 70 mitzvahs I think in, in this parsha. whatever but anyways, the um, maybe I'm not remember, misremembering something. But this is a mitzvah be'eretz mitzrayim, right? This was a mitzvah, the first mitzvah she nistab by Yisrael. We get so much on the game of mitzrayim, and what's the mitzvah? It says something I don't know what that means. And then the ikka mitzvah is to make the carbon paisach. Now, right? Now, this mitzvah of, of making the carbon paisach is sort of like the same mitzvah that we do, right? And this is the interesting thing, if you'll notice, right? In other words, it says that it's Kelly's story. Kelly's the story. And they should make the... By the way, this doesn't, doesn't is matches a lot better to... This is the We learn from this halachas of, of Pesach Doiris. It's not halachas of Pesach Mitzrayim. And we put the Dabal Amashkev. Of course, Chazal, for some reason, decided that we don't do that anymore. It's not Hopi Pshat. The Kurum think that we do. Anyways. Yeah. I don't know if they talk about it, but I remember seeing that they hold that it's it's very schwer. Chazal somehow just cut up Sikkim and decided what's the and what's not. It's now people shot. It's hard to figure out. But, no, we could. There's a reasoning for everything, but I'm just saying. And then it says, Actually, interesting. I, I, last time I read this, I, I interpreted it differently. I'm not sure. But what it says is something like this You're going to make a mitzvah of carbon by and you're going to make this dam and the whole thing, and therefore. And then it's going to be Hayoy Mazeh, which is in Bachodesh Zeh, by the way, that's why it starts Bachodesh Zeh, Alpi Pshat. Because it's, uh, for some reason it's very important for the Chemish that Mitzrayim, the Pesach should be Bachodesh Ha, Bachodesh Ovev, whichever, whatever that means. And you should make it Lodesh Sayach, Mechikas Oilam, right? This is Ivretat, Mechikas Oilam, not only in Mitzrayim, Lo Oilam, Lodesh Sayach. Okay? And then what should you do? You should eat Matzah for seven days. Somehow Chazal decided you shouldn't eat Matzah for seven days, one of the f- biggest kashas that I have. I think that they grew is like. Is right, anyway, and you should eat chometz and shine. Nishmatem as a matzik, see, it's my says, says, uh, Shmatem as a letter, elders, I can pick us oil. That's the important, the very important pussy because it's trying to say that this is not a this is not a story, this is not a look. This guy's on la oil, and it says it again. You should eat matzik, it repeats itself a few times. I had a better shot last time, but now I'm not convinced by it anymore. The bikitze, by the way, one thing I am convinced of is again the structure, right. Laimer, by the way, always means begin quote. Sarah Ram says that, but that's true. So again, this is this is this is God's drusha. It looks like this. Right? That's that's the that's the text. Well it does not literally, but the allusion says that's what you should you should tell the Eden. This is still God talking to Moshe. And it says this whole thing. And then Moshe changes everything, the whole order and, and everything. Because, and he says like this. Mach the carbon paisach and Vuvar Hashem. Of course, it's third person, right? Vuvar Hashem, it puts the Hashem. And but he says, This is a big chiddush of Moshe Rabbeinu. It literally seems to say that you should do this forever. That's why I was saying that it seems that we should do this also paisach doiris. Which dover? He didn't tell them anything about matzah, anything about anything. He told them you should take a paisach and you should toivel badam and lesaitish a paisach paisoi, which we somewhat do in paisach doiris also, right? Because it's chabira and and try. And then, so this is where this is the first. This is the first, right? This is, now, this is the first manishtana, right? Very important. This is the first agudah al paisach, by the way. Now, right. and you'll do shmatam savad. What's the avoid azoyz, by the way? Which avoid? Avoid always means bringing a card, right? Avoid the chemish. Or has to mean a card. Avoid. There's no other avoid than the title. 
So it means making Korban Pesach, but maybe and maybe it also means to put the Dalmach Pesach. Yeah, wait, wait, uh, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The Mekitze, no, it was always very cash, and Moshe Rabbein is anticipating the cash. It's not given at Israel. Given the Lechem and Eichem, Moshe Rabbein does not Lechem. And this, the good side of that this is a Rush's cash, but Al Pipshat is very good cash. It's saying something similar, simple. I, I understand the historical story. There was a guy, there was a Mashkes, was a Hashem, whatever it was, Magdaf to Adam, but what's now? There's no Mashkes. Why, why are we still doing the Karm Paisach? And then we're already in Eretz Yisrael, right? Because of Vaya Lura. It's Fahim Artem. But that's Ivritach. Yeah, I, I, because it says, Kis of Vaya Lura. Why, why isn't this not Shveen in the Midbar? Kili, why isn't, okay, there's, there's no Midbar in this plan over here. Right, like you said, but but why isn't why does it become shveik is avoy aluritz v'yom relaichem benaichem? What's this benaichem? Why not you? Why you not yourself can have the kasha? I think that the benaichem and and the, okay, I'll I'll show this to you. I'll, we'll get to the benaichem in a minute. Right, maybe I should have done this backwards. But I think that the benaichem always, and this is of course this is why I say this is a seifet vudim because benaichem is a concern of seifet vudim. And like you said, the difference is, but we were planning to have seifet vudim right away. But what the children will say is is a very is the is the concern that generally is the mishnah Torah concern. But I think that what one of the biggest and actually in Mishnah Torah it's befitted this concern many times. And actually, Mishnah Torah actually moves the focus from Itzim Tzram to the Nisim of the Midbar. If you'll notice, tries very often because that the Bunim at least know that. At least the dog that he's talking to, they were not a Mitzrayim. Maybe they were children of Mitzrayim, but they know they know. Sometimes it says that they were Mitzrayim. It's, it contradicts itself. I don't have a good shot, but it actually discusses the Nisim of the Midbar a lot more because that they know about that. Vidatem, Kibleis Benachem, and so on. Now. But I think that this is the kasha. They're gonna ask the kasha. Havoid azoyz. Shmarta must havoid azoyz. In other words, what does shmarta mean? You'll continue to do this avoid that was negay and mitzrayim. And then the children add more avoid azoyz lechem. We're not in the Israel. We're not in mitzrayim. And this is the first hagudish lopaisech. I'm gonna make a liket hagudish lopaisech kedimos. Okay. And this is the first hagudish lopaisech in history. It looks like there's zevach paisech el Hashem. Again, this is, by the way, this is an extremely misleading self pusik. People say it in Dagudish Lapaisach and they don't, they don't say it correctly. This is Atkan, Vesbatani Hitzel, stop. And, and, and this is, remembering this is, this is Moshe Rabbani's Dirushet, right? So this is the Zirusha finishes. That's not a Noshka Shaykhis, but they have Pamartem Zevach Pesach. That's going on the whole, on the whole thing, right? They're happy that they're going to get out of Mitzrayim. That's, that's the touch. Now, this is the first Agudish Lapaisa. So, and, and to entering the cash, what's the cash? Why are you doing it now? It doesn't really mamish for that cash, but it's, in other words, maybe it's saying it doesn't have a meaning, they're not going to know what it is, they can forget. And why? And why are we call it Devach Pesach? Because in Mitzrayim, it's Batani Hitzlan, therefore, it doesn't say that there, it doesn't finish. It's a Vietnish toss, but it's, you're not trying to think, Al Kain, we're trying to, we're still trying to remember it, or whatever, the, we'll see in other times it does feed us to Al Kain. Okay, Ad Khan, and then we have the story, then. We skip. We go. We go to the story. And by the way, the story has the story of Kigoshim Mitzrayim v'Leoichlil Somer. And I and this I do think still is true. Why does what happened? Well, this is a chastira, right? Because there was already chiv to eat matzahs before this, right? Alte kasha, very famous kasha on the Aguda, right? The Aguda says this time of the matzah. Right? We can't say anything about eating matzah. Right. That that's a teretz. That's a teretz. And I think that's not a kasha. And pshat. Uh, in other words, if you'll notice, this mitzvah of eating matzah, Hashem told it to Moshe, right? Did Moshe tell the Eden? No, he didn't tell them. <laughs> so they didn't know about the mitzvah. It says, the only thing it says, it does say something, I think. It says, let's see if it says anything. It doesn't say anything. It says you should take Shachti Pesach. That's all it says. It doesn't even say matzah. It doesn't say anything. They don't know anything about matzah. I don't know. I don't know what they know, but it doesn't say. So why did they have matzah? They had matzah for a different reason. I'll be shot. And again, we could we could make an argument that. This is not this in the morning, but. Yeah, we said that. Was it like yesterday night? Chometz, I don't know. It doesn't say. They didn't know. If you, assuming that again, the Ramban claims that whatever we could always make litten shul zeb zeb shul zeb zeb whatever Hashem says something. The Moshe wishes to me told that and vice versa. But I'll be shot. I'm not convinced of that. And. It could be that they didn't know about this. This mitzvah, for some reason, I use the way I would say this, and the like the way I would think of these things is differently. The way I would think like that every time God told something to Moshe, Moshe made a pshat and told him this pshat. This is the first, this is the first Torah 
I never told him what, exactly the Zalush. Never. There's not, almost not even one post like where God says something and Moshe says exactly the same thing. Of course, the Bible will say it. Uh, said that because the, whatever he has this, he has a, a different theory my theory would be that Moshe Rabbani always interpreted things before he told them to the Eden and therefore Moshe Rabbani would, would learn this parasha and he understood for whatever reason he understood that the mitzvah of Matzah is Nish Deyu is next to you the Ike Mitzvah from Deyur is the is the the Dama Shebasaf so he only told them that maybe it's Hashem Usa Taka I don't know why we could say Pshutim I don't know why I don't know why because oh, the matzah was the chazaych le le asher le skuv tzaykem and it didn't happen yet. So how could you do matzah? My little pesach if we could make it down, but the matzah we can't happen. Yeah. Okay, how did Moshe know this? I'm just I'm just saying, and that and therefore Yitzchak didn't tell them. Yeah, there could be another Indian. There's other pshutim, but yeah, if if oh, that's Taka de Pshat, we could say it like this. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. right. We could say oh, there's other pshutim of eating matzah, but the kids uh, and Yitzchak didn't tell them. They asked if they should go to see Hashem as Moshe. Can I say? And what I was saying is, yeah, and then after there was the Mitzrayim, and then happens to be in, they, they were Machav Midatam, there was Vyayfa Sabutsk and when I was Matzah, and then we have a bunch of Psikim uh, uh, about. Yeah, they were forced uh, into this, they were forced into this. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was, it happened, it happened that they had to go fast and they had Matzah. That was in the morning, like whenever it was, I don't know, I'm not clear about that. And the kids said, "It says, 'Be'etz me, Yemazel, Lash Shemir me.' It's the grace of the Chazal already. The Gemara Bruch already was noticed that it's confusing." The kids said, "And then there's another time. The Yevet Shalom Moshe, but this Hashem says again, and then Hashem adds more halachas. I don't know what's the pshat of this. And this, oh, I, I had a pshat of this. I had a pshat of this. I had a nice pshat, but it doesn't uh, have the other things. Then there's another parsha. Then God says, 'Oh, another Rishos Chikas Apesha. Chikas, by the way, always means.'" A rule for always. That's also the touch of Chikas Apura, Chikas Atayra, and Pashas Puja, but I'm not getting into that. This Pshat of Chok means a Chok Leitam is, is Medrash, but it's not a Pshat. And Pshat always means uh, 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 like Chikas uh, Atayra. A continuing rule. That's Chikas Apesach means not only for now, it's going to be the rule, the law. Toyra, Toyra and Chikas more or less mean the same thing. So Chikas Atayra is interesting, but anyways. Toyra, Chikas Yelechem. A kid said, and, and he said, makes the halacha that you shouldn't give the Paisach to a, to a Udal, right? Now, I think that the reason for this halach is very simple. If it, assuming that it's Kesedra, right, this parsha, could be that it was before. Because it says, the funny, the reason you might assume that it was, and is because it says, Vayasib Nesrok Asherusi. What's this Vayas? I don't know what this place is going on. But assuming that, it's, uh, that we go in the order, we have a very good shot. Because in the beginning, the first plan was that the Yiddish. It was a Drosha. Ah, oh, that's what Chazal said. I, think so, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm can't kick Rasha. Yeah. Okay, I don't. I'm, I'm trying to see how people shot. See, I don't even look at Rasha. It was like Ve'asiv na Israel. It doesn't say here. Maybe there's a okay. Makitzer. Okay, we'll look and they don't have Chazal. These people. Okay, the one thing they're missing. Okay, Makitzer. Um, no. So I said the shot like this because. Until the, the first plan was the Eden should go out of Mitzrayim. Then suddenly, Kikus Gishen. Suddenly, the Chepes Gishen. Hashem Nes Neschayel Ma'am. Ve Yisab Nes Rav. Ve Gam Erev Rav Leta. This was not in the plan. Now that there's Erev Rav, these people didn't. They went out with a rat. These people both Rav. Both Rav. It's a couple of men. With the Trois Satoyim. Yeah. But now that we have the Erev Rav. Now they, they didn't, these people didn't make a carbon paisach before their bechorim died. I don't know. So why should they make a carbon paisach? So we made a new rule that I don't have this rule is basically about the I don't have. Kol banach is only shdesende, only shdesende carbon paisach. Only did because that that's why it changed. That's why we didn't have it before because it was not in the original plan. Okay, but get to that's my amazes again. This pusik is like a glu pusik. I look at it like okay, get get back to the side. But then by the way, we go back to another mitzvah. Again, why should change it to the whole thing? Right. Now there's another mitzvah. And another mitzvah says, And Moshe says, And by the way, this is, this is another kind of a good little paisach for Moshe, right? And this is Moshe's a good little paisach. And this is the second a good little paisach, right? There's a third one in the next page. <laughs> what do you mean this one later? Why, why no, you, come on. That, that you're making blue? No, come on. The first a good little paisach was, then, this is Moshe's Agudish Lapaisa. There, yeah, there's later a more detailed one, but I think this is Moshe doing it in the Eden. He's not telling him what to say, all he's telling him what to do. Yeah, but he's adding. In other words, I think that he's. This is, this is by the way, this is a classic Mishnah Torah move. 
Because if you read Meshat Torah, Meshat Torah is all about convincing you that it's a good idea to list the Torah. It's not Ayyavshat Gahas. It gives reasons for everything. All kinds of different kinds of reasons, but everything has a reason. Ki this, ki that. There's, everything has a key in Mishnah Torah. God loves you so much, so therefore, you, he has thousands of different reasons, not thousands, a lot of different reasons why you should do things. And here, it does the same thing like this. God just gives an aloha. Aloha. This is, this is aloha. God is the aloha. Lihi, it's mine. Keep Moshe, and he can't. Moshe has to give a justification for that. This is Moshe Bani's minik. When he, when he explains Torah, how do we know? Because Mishnah Torah, which is Moshe Bani's book, he does that, right? He always gives explanations. He explains, like, like, listen. He's like, you know, from the time. And, and look, how much is going to be done. And then he gives them, this is also a funny post, they didn't go out, I don't know what it exactly means. And then he gives them the whole drush of eating matzah. Finally got around, by the way, this got what he told them in the beginning of the Padre Kitbaiz, right? Finally got around to telling them that they should eat matzah. Because he never told it to them, remember? So he finally tells them. Here goes the Ravai Dazois. The Ravai Dazois. But I think Avoid Azois means, means the Karm Pesach again. <laughs> no, I think Avoid has to mean a Karm. I don't think Avoid could mean something else. Unless you think the Matzah has a Karm <laughs> somehow. <laughs> but then another thing, make a Matzah and Chag Lashem, a Okay, what's about the Emerition? It was Pesach. Okay, however, this is. Okay, but kids. And Matzah, Vegat Al But by the way, this is Moshe doing the first Vegat Al also. Because he's like giving a reason for doing Mitzvahs. For doing this Mitzvah of Matzah and of Kadosh Tekal Bechad. He's reminding himself. Remember that you went out of Mitzvah. Or remember this day, continue to remember it, and you'll get to Eretz Yisrael, and you'll continue to do it. And we got to the Vincho, and this we got to the Vincho, it doesn't, it doesn't say the Kasha, that's why that good had a, had a good Diek, but it's basically assuming the same Kasha that he had before. Your, your Vincho, right, the Vincho was, was born in Eretz Yisrael, why are we doing Matzah, what's going on? So you'll tell him, you'll, you'll, you'll be Mamshach, that you did, you'll tell him, Bavizeh, Usa Hashem, mean, Bavizeh means big. Because uh, I forgot how it, the translation. It doesn't mean bavish. Yeah, but it's it's just it's just missing a word. You have to read it as if it's saying. Bavish or Sashem. Bavish or Sashem. Bavish or That's what I'm saying. Something like that. But get it. And voy loisla yatcha. This is. But say no. It's very it's very good because he's talking to the first generation. He's telling them, you are gonna have children. Your children are not gonna know. So please remember to do something to tell them. That you're doing it because she tastes him at time. So in other words, no, Bavis that means why am I doing this mitzvah? Bavir shosa Hashem li. Forget about the zeh. Just a confused lesser. Yeah, it's an ancient yeah. archaic language. But it's what it's saying is don't do like I'm telling you. Don't just do mitzvahs in the world. Don't do chok b'leyav, chok b'litam. Explain your children that you're doing it because God took you out of Mitzrayim. I know, but it doesn't say, it says, what's Osashem Libit? God took, did, did, yeah, he didn't need to took me out of Mitzrayim, whatever he did, or whatever he did to me, right? I remember it, I remember it for always. Very important, I'll get to this in a second. You could, you could do it, Miyumiyumimu means Liyumiyumimu, right? Again, it's uh, all backward, other different, uh, the language is not what we would expect, but it just means, this is how it's going to continue. Okay? And then he does it. And then he finally reminds himself to give the mitzvah of, of Fetech Amar. Vayikiviyacha. The second Vayikiviyacha. By the way, there's like four Vayikiviyachas in the Torah. And he says, you make a Peter Echem and everything. Vayo. And this is, here he's, here he's giving a better explanation. What's Mokha? What does Mokha mean? It doesn't mean tomorrow. It means next generation. It's going to be in Eretz Yisrael, right? Always. By the way, you'll notice. Always that good are in Eretz Always, like good are never, and of course, like you said, this was the plan. But always, it means that they're gonna have a why. Why are we doing this pesach? We're the Israel. We're long past Paris. He'll tell him. He'll tell him one like this, and it doesn't say the vechayin. That's why we have to get that. It's not like this. Because it's not like this. Alkain. Here we get to Alkain, right? Alkain. So remember what I told you with Alkain, right? Alkain is always like time. It's first. Alkain by Hashem Asim Mashal Zagatras. On the way, Hashem Kapet Rachzchurim. Well, kids, you'll remember it. Okay. Now, what, what does this all mean? I think the what I think more or less, and now I just read the psikim. I didn't say anything. But really, you have to read the psikim from the perspective of the children, right? And this is this is why it's Mishnah Torah because it's thinking of the perspective of the of the children, right? And what the now what's what is what is happening is something like this. If you'll go, we have to get to the Puskin verse Hanam, which is the fourth Kasha, which says it a lot more openly. But I want to show you a different Pusik first in uh, Sefer Yeshia. By the way, Yeshia is a very good source for understanding that good also, both the, especially in that part. And if you go in Sefer Yeshia, and like in, in, I want to show you something here. 
No, this is this is Yeshia. It's Drusha, right? Remember? And now in Zephyr Yeshia and before this, I think. I'm trying to keep on forgetting where it is. Yeah. It's two twenty two. Okay, but kids say, hold on, I want to show you what's the problem. I have a good, a good, um, a good. Now, Yeshia and Perik Chavbaez has this interesting story with the Bnei God that even made him his Bach, remember? They went up to his Bach, nobody knows why, and they come to him, Pinchas comes, and his grace kind of is going to make a Lachama with them. And then they explain, yeah? They explain, they're up shot. They say like this. We don't mean to make a shchitechetz or whatever they said as to have a dezura. Living in this bayach from Malasa, we're not even going to make a bonus. So what is our problem? Midag and meduvra seen as this. What is our 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 fear, our anxiety? Your children will tell you, and there's a gvil. You're different. I think that this is a, the most clear pussyk that I could find that talks about what's the kasha that CPT is in time in this sense is trying to find. There's a problem, and these people have a very specific problem because they're living in the wrong place. But it's generally a problem not only for living in the wrong place, it's a problem for living in the wrong generation also. Right? Mukhar, again, this Mukhar, right? Mukhar, Yemen, Ibn Aichem. It says something like that. Yuk, Mukhar, Yemen, Ibn Aichem, Ibn Aichem. And this is Malachem, Muavah, Ibn Aichem. This is a more explicit way of saying Muavah, Ibn Aichem. Malachem, Ibn Aichem, Ibn Aichem, Ibn Who are you? And basically, this is like the oldest Jewish anxiety that your children are not going to be Jewish. And the coup of this, they made a whole mezbah, however this mezbah is supposed to work, and the politic that was over there. But this is what, what they're very worried. This is like the, the worry of every Yiddish tat is shtar, and that's the story of Moshe, and the story of Yeshia, right? Yeshia does his own, does his own version of it in the next, in the next paradigm, right? That's where we get another Hagudish of Parasich, right? This is a, this is a, right? But by the way, Rav was amazing, because if you, if you, when you do this kind of Tanakhi thing, you see how, how Chazal were not, were not some people that didn't read the Bible. The, in the, in, in the Bible, there's five Agudosh Lepar, this is the fifth Agudosh Lepar, well, right? Vayemir Shia is giving an Agudosh Lepar, and he tells them the whole story of Lepar, and the whole history, and the Maskone is Din Da'evishte. Atkan, this is a good And of course, Ras says we should do his version, and someone else says we should do another version. And then there's, well, this is the sixth good because the other one is Mikrebakirim. That's a very interesting one, actually, but I'm not getting into that. That's the one that we make there, okay? Right, but it's Machalaika. So he says, Shia, Yeshia's version, it's just different versions of Mishnah Torah, basically. Yeah, yeah. The Bikurim is very interesting, because Bikurim is, okay, we're not getting into this. If you, in other words, what I'm saying is something like this, and just to, for that, to finish that, if you, if, you, if you have a question, right, we have a mitzvah, a mitzvah, a minik, whatever it is, to say, and what do we have? We have in front of us one book, it's called the Torah, and you look in the Torah for a Nisach HaHagudah, you will end up with all the shittas of the Tanoim that they do. And when you read the Tanakh, and you, let's read the Bible, let's find the the, the Agudah of the, of the of the Tanakh. You find all of these tikkun. You find the four kashas, and that's why they have their pshat with the Bunim, And you find what do you find? And by the way, the most explicit one. That's why we we do that. The most explicit one you find is Takim Akrebekirim. I think it's the only Nisachat Filler that says in the, in the Torah. We have a Siddur and Tehillim. We have more, but in Torah in, in Torah's Moshe, there's one. When and what should you say? Again, this Vamat has a Vach Pesach, there's more. But this is the most explicit one. The only Nisach, the only Nisach, and maybe, I have to think, the only Nisach at that I think says in the Torah is Mikra Bekir. The earliest Seder ever to be written. Anyways, and, okay, and it's. Really yeah, there's different Amiris. There's like Pesach Tasait with the Va'il and the Mirim and which we can go through that list and figure out. But of course, Chazal, when they're making their good, they're working with all this material and they're deciding, oh, we'll put it like this, we'll put it to that. And Yeshia is one of the important ones. But all I'm showing from, Yeshia, of course, has the same problem. He's worried that he's going to die and then they're not going to stop. And he tells them this whole, like, he does this whole reverse psychology on them. You don't want to, the Wilsonish didn't die. Yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, thanks. Khalil Lunia says, what do you mean? Okay, that's very interesting, Parsha in general. But I think the previous Parsha is a very, very beautiful illustration for the problem that we have.
Was it Zan, your children? And they're going to grow up in, in Eretz Yisrael. It's going to be Zan Git. Zan Git is busy with this problem. It's going to be too good, right? They're going to, they're going to have it all gone. And they're not going to remember to, to be Eden. And we want them to be Eden, right? And there's actually a reason to why we want them to be Eden. Because this Eretz Yisrael was written in Altanai. And in other words, it sees them as Altanai, if you think about it. And and we have to remember it so we don't, the secular says, so we don't get low, we lose the Tanai. Now, how do we make them remember it? How do we? What do we do? So basically, the beginning of Fajr's boy until the end is, is trying to answer this problem. And it says that, firstly, we're going to do something like this. We're going to make a Tizim Tzrayim. We're going to basically going to do what these Yidin did in Benagod and We're going to make a big a big sign. Like they built a Mizbah, right? A big Mizbah where you could see miles away. And this is going to be a sign. But how does a sign work? Everyone's going to have you. How does a sign work? That's just a, a little... That's what I'm thinking. That Shat, there's no mitzvah of having the Manashtana. That, forget, the Manashtana is a key of that. But there's not a chiev and a mitzvah. It's just explaining how this ois works. The whole Torah is built on this ois, on this, on this, on this uh, leman, leman tesape. What is it saying? Lo ois lo right? Lo ois lo What is it saying? Like, like if I go to the grocery and I want to, I don't want to forget to buy oranges, so I make a tie ois lo literally, right? I tie a thing out of my string, and I, and I'm get, and how does it work? Lo ois lo yotcha, and you'll look at your finger and you'll wonder why do I have a thing on my finger? And you'll remind yourself because my wife said I should buy oranges. And that's literally what it says about Yitzhak Mitzrayim and Pashas Boy, and the whole Pashas Boy from the beginning to end. It says, you will wonder a few things. You'll wonder why were there so many more, why were there so many funny miracles? Was felt as though the Arbe, my Maile the Adam, and it's what I understand. But the Arbe was felt as though. Or the Bakas Bukhairis, really, it's getting to that. That it says, this is going to be such a mil to the Tmiya, the Shri Shalya tonight, because they'll remember that you came out of Mitzrayim, and therefore, there's a therefore, therefore, Lamanti Tayyas Shemefiha. That's really the therefore. That's the that and that's where Parshas Boy got to say the real reason for all of this. Therefore, the man Tiyatoyres Hashem, the Ficha, you should remember. And the same thing with Kpeta Chama. The same thing with uh, uh, the Karben Pesach itself. Why are we doing this uh, blood that doesn't make sense or whatever? The Karben Pesach when I'm at Mitzrayim, Kedai, you should remember Kol Atayrekel. And the place with this, this basically, I'm telling you two things. I'm telling you that the the way that the Sibit Mitzrayim works, and this is the most the probably where we got the actual mitzvah of the Sibit Mitzrayim, the whole thing of Manishtana and explaining what Manishtana means, what this Hoyuki Shalcha means, doesn't mean it means that that's how it works. Amnes, Amnes, Ois works by creating this question, and therefore you're gonna have to say, "We got the Levinchiyol." They'll ask the Zayda, "What's the pshat of this?" And the Tzaddik says that we were Navudim in the Par Mitzrayim and Zevate. And, natural, and lead that exactly, thing. exactly. That's what it means, because that's what making a sign means. It means ma- making a question, making why we have this monument. Ah, because Abraham Lincoln, he came in, whatever. You know that that's what it means. We do weird things, and the and the, the Lamanta Sapper is actually the most funny, interesting thing. Where it's saying that the, the actual nest of Yitzchak Mitzrayim was Kedai to have Kedai Shishalei Tanoik. It's basically that's what it says. Lamahoy Amakas Arba Kedai Shishalei Tanoik. Okay, no, that's that's Lamanta Sapper. You're gonna have to tell it to them that that stack doesn't work. That's why we have mitzvahs that perpetuate that, and then it goes backwards. That that that, that, that. and then then I say another thing. That why is this? And that says actually Befarish and Pashas Boy and Favustak. And what's the point of all of this? Lamanti Atoyres Hashem Beficha. So Chikas Apesach is Kedai Lamanti Atoyres Hashem Beficha. And all of that. Now what is this Atoyres Hashem? I think that it's two things. Can you call it Befarish in in Pashas B'Shalach? If we go back to Pashas B'Shalach, it says, "If you'll yeah over here." Yeah, if you go back to now again, remembering my theory that that this is when we actually went out of Mitzrayim, right after the Kriyas Yamsef, because of course otherwise the Shira is the is Shira on Yitzis Mitzrayim. It happens to be by Kriyas Yamsef. It happened, but it's about Yitzis Mitzrayim. It's not only about it's also about going coming in Yitzis but whatever. Okay, now now this is this is the first Torah. By the way, this is the first the first Matan Torah also. But yeah, man, and Chazal called this the Mudan in Torah, whatever, and. It says like this, and this is another, this is like a fifth meaning of Yitzhiz Mitzrayim, but it connects to this meaning that I'm saying. And it says like this, this is the first V'hoyam Shemoy, Yom Shemoy Tishlo Kod Hashem Lekech, V'yishu Ben Eftase, V'zant L'Metzvoy, V'shmat Ekal Chikov, Kol Amach L'Ashtat Mitzrayim L'Yusim Alecha, K'ni Hashem Reifecha. This is sort of using Yitzhiz Mitzrayim as, and nobody knows this, this is this, this bad meaning of Yitzhiz Mitzrayim, that Mitzrayim is a shtekm. Mitzrayim is saying, Daib Tasach Makes, and you only, we only took you out, Almanas, you go back right back in there. This this says only the only the nice side of it, but it's left unsaid. But it's, it's the, this is the tnai of the of kolat to kill. This is the tnai of the tzias mitzrayim. Tzias mitzrayim is all tnai. And this is saying tzias mitzrayim basically the same thing. You got out of mitzrayim. I took away the machlas of shantim mitzrayim. 
Right? It means the makkas. Call a makkas. Yeah, it's it's a different reading on the makkas because bchalal. Okay, I can't get into that. But I can put him the that's that's the first message. And then if you look, if you know, if we actually ever get to the Mishnah Torah, which is with a place where these things say much more explicitly, right? And you go read Mishnah Torah. Mishnah Torah is all about figuring out this problem. And right, and by the way, interestingly, Mishnah Torah skips the Yitzhah Mitzrayim in the first story for whatever reason. Like I said, it's more focused on this. But Tachlis and Perek Dalad and Hai is basically retelling the story of Yitzhah Mitzrayim, right? Uh, not of Yitzhah Mitzrayim, sorry, of Matan Torah. Right? Le'ez B'naichem, Le'ez B'saichem, okay, B'kitzah, however we understand all of this. And then Perek Vov starts with giving the Bechayin of of, it, of Matan Torah, basically. It doesn't, by the way, it, it says it's Yitzhah Mitzrayim, and like mentioned, but it's not based on Yitzhah Mitzrayim. I'm pretty sure that the Mishnah Torah is de-emphasizing Yitzhah Mitzrayim pretty explicitly. And Moshe like retells the whole history, and where does it start? Hashem Lekan, Dibra Lani Bechayrev. It actually starts after Matan Torah, but then he goes back and gives you two Purukim of the story of Matan Torah. But he doesn't give you the story of Yitzhah Mitzrayim, ever. Moshe but never retells the story of the Nisim, of the Makkis, all of that he doesn't do. He has different Tagudosh Lopayasov. It says that also. It says like Bekitza Gudla, and he does that like this. And this is Moshe Rabbani giving the Evachain. Okay, Bekitza. But also, I'm mitzvah to see what Shem Lasses. Bekitza and Vanti, the Shemata, and give Shema Yisrael. This is one of his big statements of this. This is basically retelling on the Chavli Elachor, right? And then it says like the Voy Kaviach Hashem Elok Kechalur. So this is another Voy Kaviach, right? And you'll have this problem. Bekitza is Gedink and Alkana, and then goes back to this. This is the famous. What's Mokhar again? In Eretz Yisrael, Kiv Yachar, right? This is about Kolot Eretz Yisrael, right? What is this all about? And this is the next Tagod. I wouldn't mean the Father of Mitzrayim. But it's Ali Hashem, Mitzrayim Yad Chazoku. By the way, remember what this means. It's still there. They get on the Vedom, I understand. Why? 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 I came from a time, of course. Maybe I'm the second daughter, so whatever. But it was all tonight. And again, I said it in a very nice way. In other words, you see us having it good? That's not, that didn't happen by mistake. That happened because God took it out of its time. It's all this good that you have? You remember, so this is, and we skip it for some reason. When we say the aguda, we we never mention the rest of this of this aguda. But it's but it's actually a, very, a much longer aguda shlopayis, and it actually finishes with kolat erekila. And, and for some reason, the aguda shlopayis decided that it's about luchas paisach and so on. It's also about luchas paisach, but also about all the other aluchas. And it's really answering the the biggest question of of Mishnah Torah, which is how are we going to make sure that our children keep the Torah, and we're going to make sure by Having kol, kol, all the idols chikim and mishpatim, right? Here it doesn't it doesn't it's not, it doesn't even talk about pirates over here, right? It's yeah, just yeah. randomly talking about kolat erekila. But to him, kolat erekila. Well, of course, the actual toy erekila seems to be not to, not to, not to have a desire to him, right? But everything else seems like in this thing is in order to remember it to remind you that if you're gonna have a desire, you can go back to Mitzrayim. So therefore, we have pirates and therefore all these things to make sure not to have a desire, and therefore. Lirah Shem Lekani, but Lirah Shem Lekani means to worship God and not not have a desire, right? And that's that's how you can have Lechai Sainik Kim Azad. That's how you have to look at the Luni if you're gonna listen to the Kol Hamitzvahs. This Mitzvahs is how how much the Torah calls Kol Hamitzvahs a killer, right? So basically, so that's uh, that's the most mefarish dig. Uh, um, but depending which mitzvahs, yeah, maybe there's ideas that are for that. I think that the mitzvah to, to Mishnah Torah is is, is sort of a I don't know. That's a good question. It says Avodim in Lepare be Mitzrayim, but it's. I should say, right. right. The God who took out the Adam and right. But I think, I don't think he's trying to say, so this is interesting. So there's more things we could do if it's And now I, I got to the, what I, what I got here to the fourth or fifth meaning, I remember what it, it was. It doesn't mean it's Yitzhak Mitzrayim. Right, so no, so let's, I don't know. I don't think, I think it's more about remembering the same one. Uh, cause in other words, what the fourth meaning that I got to now, that it's Yitzhak Mitzrayim to this, and this meaning, or Sipi Yitzhak Mitzrayim, more, more explicitly, is about remembering the Torah in Eretz Yisrael. 
to our memory, in the next generation. Shibit Yisrael doesn't mean tell, tell us the story of Mitzrayim. What it means is, make sure that they continue to keep the Torah even. This is number four in my big oh, list of meanings of it. Yes, Mitzrayim. Well, I forget about the Ramban. And the Torah. First is, first is the, the, the name tag thing. Oh, the name tag. First was the color. I now I have a new name, name tag. Now it's the, the second was Shem Rebris. Third was Shemei Atzak Kasev Yainim. And the fourth one is this. Right? You ready? What can I get a boom? There's not more. I can, I can get like 12. Right. Well, you could say that the Sippe is going to tell you this message. Whatever. I'm just so, I'm, this one is more focused on the concept of Sippe, which is the concept of making sure your children know of the Torah. To, 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 according to this chat. So this is the fourth meaning that I have over here. The first question, the first three was how we're answering why it's what you see is Mitzrayim is teaching you. Right, like, and, what, what it teaching you? To, and this yeah, chat it doesn't really teach anything. It's more like that the that the I don't I, and, and if you want to answer no, that's why the, the fifth point. Like if according to this chat, this is already Mirkev already. I don't. It, it might. I what I would say is that it teaches you, and this is what the Pusik and Mishalach tries quote that you should not that Yitzis Mitzrayim is al tanai. Yitzis Mitzrayim is just a good illustration for what can happen to you if you don't keep the Torah. It's the other side of the Torah, basically. And actually, if the Mishnah Torah actually is the Torah says that you're so going to go back. Yeah, it's a chizik for the rest of the Torah. Yeah, yeah. Whatever the rest, of course, you have to ask what the rest of the Torah is. That's why I started saying Avad Zura, but I just thought of that now. I don't know. But that, yeah, that's a fetish in Vizchanan. I mean, Chazal, that, that, that's only, again, maybe not in Mitzvah, not even the main thing here. But in Boy and all of that, Lamati Teres Shem is a better that. Or that that it's kedai that you should remember kolat and and how does it work? How does that work? I think that I said at fifteen, it works by kalamachlar santi mitzrayim by having mitzrayim as the the the, the other tzad basically and basically sefer Twin works with this logic. It basically says if you'll es zangit es tablam and it's twelve night, you can go back back to mitzrayim. Veshiv chashem mitzrayim baniyus. That's how the kisuvei toich finishes. And it's very important that that's the end of the toich because it basically means you came out of mitzrayim. Amanas ki ki sechmeli. The imloi. I have a lo- long list of machlas shamtiv mitzrayim. Right? It says literally. Kol matvim mitzrayim beruim ashe dato and so on. And then, the end of the day, you can can sign with the bezikim. There's actually other psikim that send us back. The Yeshia Benin actually doesn't have this story. See, that's the interesting thing. Yeshia Benin doesn't want to send us back to Mitzrayim. He wants to send us back to 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 Evraya, to to, to Aram. Oh, no, no, no. Remember, <laughs> Evraya, Evraya, whatever. That's very interesting. It's, uh, different versions of how to read, like the, where the Metchila is. You understand? That's a, that's the that Machlag. According to Yeshia Benin, the Metchila is Terach. He could go right back, and he says that he says you want to worship God of Terach, Kaidach to Terach, no problem. <laughs> That's a very different version than uh, for you. We got you want to go to Mitzrayim. That's, so that's, that's not a stage. To the, to the, to the big, big. Yeah, he, he, but he does mention it. Yes, Mitzrayim, but he sees it all. Uh, yeah, it's connected well, it's like Avraham Avinu going out of out of Evranor. Uh, that's really his first Yitzchak Mitzrayim. That's Anias Hashem Shesich Meir Kazdim. Different Hashem Shesich. Yeah, yeah. 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 She is like working on that. I don't know. That's that. I don't know. That's different places, ways of seeing it. But it's also about Avodah Zura. Like basically, it's also about. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's modern. What's that kind of cash to to Yisrael? Like, like, why you? Why would you? No, to him, to him, to Yeshia. Well, no, Yeshia mentions Rav, it. Rav, why, why according to Rav? Is that like such a? To Yeshia too. Yeah, it could be that you talk. Uh, that Itakas saw it as, I don't know, why may she a chalom? The Eshtakas Mosh, why does Zachmet Samit Sakil, Vikam Milligment Sip, blah blah blah, that it is a sham. He says, but see, it says both, by the way. What it is, I made of Viti, what it is a sham, if there is a bit of MS with some, though serious and him, I should have the other side, but ever not even met time. It's interesting because Yeshia holds like the Rambam that in Mitzrayim they worship of the din of the Zorah. The Mirabai Nachem, the Vils Nisht, Bechle Lechemayen, Ma Evrano. He goes back to only Evrano. Vaslai Moira Shkutesh Batz. But now he, I'm still going to be with God. Then they say the Ochaz Veshulim, Ki Hashem Lekani Yah Malah Sunim Vaslai Sunim Vaslai Mitzrayim. Harshus Leinani Veshmei Mechal Aderech. So they seem to focus on the Tzias Mitzrayim. It, it, it seems that he sees that this is the message of Etzias Mitzrayim, that we are going to go with the God of 
we keep on forgetting this. This is, this has to do with what I was saying about the about the kisuvah about the about the yegudish lepesach. Our yegudish lepesach does a very weird thing where it stops in the middle, right? Right, it, it goes like it's strong. It, 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 it stops by any that we don't we don't we don't touch and that and that good. And according to the good, according to the original, that's the whole point. <laughs> and of course, there's some tzioni I told you, right? There's some tzioni that said that put it back, but. Uh, it's really very really weird. That has to do with a whole other problem with what we do with Yitzhak Mitzrayim after we're not in Eretz Yisrael. But in the original version, this was all about that. So you can't separate Yitzhak Mitzrayim from Eretz Yisrael. And Yeshia Benin sort of does this, where he shows Yeshia Benin is, is the Knesset Luritz, and where he shows you, like, you're here in Eretz Mitzrayim and not in wherever you were before. You were in the Ekhaz, this giving, there's Aftokhaz, Eretz Lovis, is. It's, it's also from somewhere. It's also a part that's interesting because in my story, we're like either you're there or you're in Mitzrayim, but you're really either in there or you're in Chavayis was in, in, in Lovan, wherever Lovan lived, right? It's very, um, but these things go together. It goes together because going out of Mitzrayim and back to the after service, basically, that's it's very. Uh, I don't know. Understand, I don't know why. Why? Like why was this whole detour of Mitzrayim for? Why? That's a very good question. Bechlal. Like sometimes we have this story. Like the question is like where the default is, right? But that that seems to be how it works, at least. In other words, the Shia sees the Yitzias Mitzrayim is to connect you is is is, is saying that we we are from the God of of Yitzias Mitzrayim or of Avraham Avinu, not of Terach and not of well, he doesn't say Terach over here, whatever, whoever it means. Um, it does say Terach. I mean, it does say Terach, but it's not. Not clear that it means Terech Lafika Avram Avini. It might just mean uh, Avram and Nachara. So I don't know. But um, uh, it has to do with that. I don't know exactly. Yeah, they could take a different seat, but they can say I'm saying we do from the Gemara, from that God. It's like a different seat. But you see, you see, they say we used to be an idolatrous family, and now you know we came close to God. But they were We used to be as slaves, and now we're free. Like it's a different story. Not, not, not right, of course, it of course, but it's of course I'll be shot at the same story also because everyone. This goes back to the, our same question: What is it Yitzchak Mitzrayim about? And uh, the Rambam would be very happy with this story, right? But it's not on the Rambam that the the, the, the pshat is look like this. The pshat is on uh, When the, it's it's about that. Of course, the question is why. Uh, maybe it's also a sich mirkazim. That's what I'm saying, but. You know, we do, we do do that in Dagoda, by the way. Interesting that we do this out of this Luvan, Dikash Lakas, which has something to do with that. And the Medrash of Dagoda, we do connect it to the first, to the first Titsia, to the, to the, 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 the original. Well, Luvan represents the El Hayat Terach Venochar, that's who he is, no? I mean, even Yaakov, when he came, uh, you know, the, interestingly, again, the, this story the Shia Benin came up with, I mean, Chavoshram came up with, but in, in Sefer Beresh, it doesn't say anything about this story. Very interestingly, and that's why I have a whole title about this. Uh, I don't know what it means, but Sefer Beresh is not good. Is this whole story? I don't know how we'll get this. This whole story of of Avramovini being uh, over this it doesn't say in the whole Torah. It doesn't say Fiyashi. Maybe it says here, but until Shia Perich of Dalit, nobody ever ever heard of this story. Avip Shat, and it says even Vaket almost. Avip Shat Terach was Avdasham. Uh, Dasham. And Vaket, maybe 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 the whole story is the opposite. And there's some Chayim that try to make this this story. The man gone by whatever. The Abib shot it possible that Terech was Eved Hashem and Fakir. Maybe the Canaan were not. And Avram Vini was the only one that was Machsik Mesoyer Savoyist after the TV Eved Hashem. That's the opposite of Yeshia Benin's story, of course. The, interestingly, the only time that anything similar to Avad Azur is mentioned in Sef Beresh, Sef Beresh is, if you read Sef Beresh without this these Medrashim and without Sef Yeshia, I'm not saying, you would, you would think that everyone believes in the same God. Malkit Sedek, Lovan, Avimelech, Parai, they're all talking about the same God. There's not even one remez to have a desur to the soul machloikis and seven bereshes. The whole thing. Yosef, Parai, eh, Salim, of course, we have Torahs and Rabban, and Yem, and Avai, said, and Sefer Shemas, Parai starts saying he doesn't know who Hashem is, right? But until then, they all have the same God. The only, there's only one person can also have a bereshes that has a remez or something like different, which yeah, is Yaakov, yeah. Vene. No, Yaakov. Yeah. Well, two stories of Yaakov. Firstly, Ruchel, no one asking what that story with the Trophim was. And secondly, Asiris Leha Neche, which I bekir bechem, Akim Ibn Ale Baisa. That's the one person in the whole Sefer Beresh, I think. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. But this Vayish Ba Yaakov, Balehai 
That's a list. That that's a shal how to read that pesuk. But the only pesuk that's like against anything similar to the Zura is this pesuk, and it's talking about the shvutim dining having alehay nachach. Man, forget about Avraham Avini. But in any case, it relates to Shimon and story with the alehay nachach being the alehay alehay Avraham which they came from there, and I mean Duchel came along with it, whatever was going on, and then they went to Beis and then they stopped. They uh, stopped oh, there. Yeah, he says, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. But the Torah doesn't make fun of him for doing that. It seems to be very reasonable. Of course, you could say whatever you want. but Not at all. It's very, very harmonistic. Very, uh, I don't know. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't say ever. I mean, we know that they were all over there. When the Stark, like when Pare wasn't, wasn't uh, didn't believe in God, and, and Avimelech probably didn't either. And I don't know about Malkit Tzedek, I don't know who this Ailelian was. But, and I don't know, you know. Okay, well, then we say it's, 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 and Luvan said, Me'avai you have to remember, that's very, very confusing. But that's another whole problem. But, anyways, but it's still true that probably the Peshat of Etiaz Mitzrayim has something to do with what Yeshiba then is saying, right? Yeah, part of the right. Right. What do you mean, Avodah Hashem? No, like the number that you, you have to. Lavodah Hashem, but Lavodah. Why are we obligated to listen to? Oh, but like? that's see, that's what I, what I think it's. I don't see any. I didn't see. I don't see any of these things. Meanwhile, and there's there's some pesukim that seem to say something like that. Maybe in Sefer Vayikra or something. Like Avodah Ham, that's the only pesukim that might be saying something like that. Avodah Ham. Avodah Ham. Avodah Ham. Sorry. Maybe that pesukim says something like that. It's not clear. I don't see any pesukim really saying that because. That's a whole other theory. We have to think if there's a pusik that says this theory, that says something like this, that why we have something to do with, with this Havai God, because we all have a favor, something like that. He took us out of much time. Kedai, Amanas, that's Chazal's theory. Amanas, Shati, I don't I don't even know if Chazal meaning that, now that I'm thinking, I'm not sure if that's their theory, because maybe they just mean what I explained, that there's like Tanai, but Kedai, Amanas, but there's such a Pshat, at least, Rasha seems to go with that Pshat. I don't know that it says that. Yeah, there's some kind yeah. of deal. We'll start some kind of deal. Some kind of akarazetev and so on. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's any of that is is uh, is what it says. And also, I also don't like that chat. <laughs> so I have bias. Why? <laughs> because I'm I'm a fan of the of the Asher Brasichel God. I'm not a fan of the Asher Brasichel God. In in the sense, in the Kizri sense. But that's. I don't know. In other words, it, it, it assumes something very funny. I'll tell you why. Because it assumes something very funny. It assumes that the truth is not Mechaev. The Akurus theory of Yitzhak Mitzrayim assumes that the truth doesn't make a difference, which I don't like. Because in this debate between the philosopher God and the, and the Kizis God, I'm 100% with the philosophers. The truth, like the Rambam says, the truth is, is a much bigger Mechaev than Akurus uh, Assuming that, uh, in other words, that theory only works if polytheism is true in some sense. Which maybe, you know, we have this, this debate, maybe the Tanakh assumes that sometimes. But it doesn't really seem to say that ever. Uh, assuming that there is only one God, why in the world would you need Yitzhak Mitzrayim to believe in it? Or to be Mechiev to him? When he created you, that's enough, of course, I talk about the all those things like that. Like, maybe special, some special connection. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, it sounds, sounds very unfair, but that's another whole discussion. But... Why? Why would that be like the big thing? Maybe it's another. It's also a thing. I'm not saying it's not a thing, but it doesn't seem to be the big thing. It seems to be very, very wrong. That's why even in the Rambam and the Ramban, they didn't read it like that. They read it like it's a, it's like a, a chokha, It's a way of showing you the real, the true God. Of course, of course, he, you could say it in the most simple sense. He showed you that he's stronger than than Paris God, so he must be the stronger God. So therefore, you should worship him. Not you should worship him because he did you a favor and take you out of Mitzrayim. That's very weird. And also, Bechlal makes God seem very weird because he put you into Mitzrayim. I remember, it's very funny, the whole story. I don't know that that's a... Uh, he has whole, also this whole Ina, like, key, sort of like this whole... Like, like, yeah, that's the kid, that's another shot. That's another, that's that's another whole shot. That's, yeah. that's that Kuzi's shot, really. That's the Kuzi's shot, yeah. yeah. So it's connected with that. Not that I'm Ban's shot. No, no, I mean, that's not... That's why, I, I understand. He, he, to him, it's not, it's not the... It's not the to him, it's not the Akrezatov theory himself, of course. But of course, that his pshat doesn't say anywhere. Man, it's, uh, well, yeah, it's not, you're not going to find it in Tanakh. You could read it into Tanakh very nicely if you want, but you're not going to find it there. And what, how, I don't even know how you would expect to find it. Like, what, what should it say? The Yisim is Gila, the closest. If you assume that Gila means that, yeah, whatever. Well, of course it doesn't. 
I mean, that Puzuk doesn't. Maybe it's a concept. Yeah, but it sounds like there's some kind of like relationship going on here. It does, does sound like that. Yeah, but okay. We're, we're reading it like that. I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, like, okay, it okay. It looks like the whole Torah says that. Wait, but how do you, like what do you mean? Like I, understand, I don't have a problem with that, but what do you mean when you say relationship? What do you mean? Do you mean something very contingent? In other words, do you mean that your obligation to God, if you want to call it like that, or your relationship with God, if it's two-sided, would not have existed if not for Yitzhak Yisrael? That doesn't seem to be make sense to me. I don't know if he didn't have it. He's not going to think about, okay, he had the Aftucha that's going to be. I mean, how does this work? The Aftucha saw that. Besides this, but that, those parts of the Torah, those parts of the Torah attack contingent. Okay, we'll have to get into this. Very, this, this has to do with that whole yeah, very complicated that question. Yeah, I mean, the but that, what we're talking about is right now. We're talking about it. We're not talking. If you tell me that Avram Avinu didn't have to eat matzah because matzah is echel Yisrael, said the Chazal that say differently, but I can I can understand this theory. Said. That is some, that, that's a reasonable theory, you know. There's some parts of the Torah that are historically contingent. It's a very important word to me, right? You know, the fact that we wear tefillin, let's say, if you're a guy, there's no reason for you to wear tefillin. Agam, maybe there is a reason, because it's the Shabbat Salev, the I don't have a problem, I don't know with that, but if assuming that there's some, you know, I don't know, okay, besides that, we have this history. We have this history. You don't have that history. You do whatever your history is about. We're Yeah, why would a guy have Pesach? Okay. But that's not the more important things, of course. We're reading the whole theory of Yisoydis that we started off with goes the other way around. You see, that's where we get into a very thorny issue. If you have that theory, you say, there's a, you say something like this, there is a universal religion. I don't know religion. Seven mitzvah nanach, right? That's kind of the idea of Shevon Sanach. There's things that every, as a human, you have to worship God, you have to be a shtikl mensch, you know, basic thing. And then there's particular things, no problem. And we have that, like, there's lahem whatever. I don't know how you... You get into a problem with Avedah Zura when we say this, but you know, we'll thank God for bringing us to this role. The, the, the Lloyd will thank God for bringing him to my Abach, man. Yeah, cool. I'm sad that this man, that, that's, what, that's where it gets confusing when you start putting in Kemoish, but besides, if it's the same God, we said that no problem. The Ramah, I was reading yesterday, the Ramah says that, that a, a guy, you know, a guy is allowed to do, you were talking about the Oila, and I think that was long, and now it says that a guy, we're not allowed to make a, make a Mizbech for a guy to be Makar of Shechet but you should teach him how to do it. Um, okay, that, that that makes sense. But then that doesn't match with the whole theory of Yisoydis. You can't make the Yisod the most least important thing. <laughs> That's very that would be very weird. I mean, you, know, you could say something like that. You could say the Yisod of the Torah is the things that make the Torah different from the universal religion, which is pink. These things that happen to happen to our eyes. Okay, it's very nice, very important. But the theory of Yisoydis actually worked all the way around. The theory of Yisoydis worked that. There's contingent things, and the contingent things are pointing to the eternal things, right? They're pointing to the real things. In other words, the fact that it's not happened in a certain point in history, but it's not important because of that. It's important because it shows us what kind of God exists, right? And it's saying the opposite. We're all the time getting to the idea that it, the Torah, even the Pshat, is Toila, the reason why we worship God and not some other God, because he took us out of Mitzrayim, right? The Kiz, even the Kizri says something like this. Of course, you have to think about the Kizri's theory of other gods. This may be because he has a different theory, but... Uh, uh, and that's very weird. You could say you have a special connection with the God because there are certain specific, particular connection. Okay, but you can't say that the reason not to worship of the Zura is because, of course, you could. The only way you could say that is in the, like in the Rambans. I don't even know if it's because it's theory in the Rambans theory of the Zura, where the Zura is just, uh, is just worshiping other malachim, and of course you have to think which malach we worship because, whatever. But uh, you could say that. But according to that, Taka Avod Hashem is, is, is about contingent things. It's, it's not about worshipping God. That's why the Rambam would be very mad at it, besides for not believing in those Malach. The Rambam, yeah. Yeah. And Chassidus, for example. They would very much li- like it. Okay, there's another Okay, sure. The Chassidus and Swirim are very much on the Rambam's side in this debate. They're either the Vodem Edoisov. And the Rambam, all of the Vodem Edoisov, or the Malachov, or whatever. Not really, because he says, he, says, he says something that we're getting at, which is that, Chelik Hashem Amai, but... What does it mean, Chalik Hashem Amai? In the universal sense, it's true for everyone. It's only true for us in the particular sense, which means in the level of Malachim, basically. <laughs> There's a very weird paradoxical thing in this theory of Chalik Hashem Amai. Like, to worship the general God, everyone could, obviously. Exactly, you're saying that their Shefer goes through a son and your Shefer, well, it goes through something, by the way. I don't even know what it would mean to not go through anything, but but let's say it goes through less Shtal Shles, Echvaiz of But that's only interesting relative to the level of Mamalakalam, whatever you want to call it. Relative to the level of these differences. Okay, I don't know how I got to this whole thing. But anyways, Labaskuna is that the theory of Akuriz Atov seems to be a funny theory. And I don't think, it, I'm not sure that it, we could find it in the Chemash. I'm not sure. 
and he would probably read the Chimish in a much more like, stronger sense, where he uses the way I said it is the way that it show, it's showing you the bris of the Torah, the, the Vayim Shemaya, the, the, either your Mitzrayim or your... And what about with Sam? Yeah, Mitzrayim got punished because, I mean, that's, that's the whole story. What about the Goyim? Yeah, the, the ones that are doing bad, it's because they're not worshipping God. I don't, I don't think Vayim Shemaya is meant to be a particular... Sometimes it talks about things like that, but in, in Sefer Devon, I have to think about that. Maybe Tali Let it says in Pashsek or something like that. But that has to do that's also a physical thing, we have to think about that. But I don't more generally Kalamachla Santi Mitzrayim is more or less saying, you know why the Bitzram got punished? Because they were Nisht by Yeshiva and That's why. And you're the Vayish Ben That's no, that's not what it says. It's not saying you're not Mitzrayim, because then the whole theory wouldn't make sense. Why would that cloud the kasha or is on the pusik, right? Mapitom machlar Santi Mitzrayim. And they were not Mitzrayim, why should we have those machlas? That it says push it. They did something wrong. Don't do those wrong things. Not so complicated. Shine, guys. Get to all of this. Okay. You running this up?